uh, from Kick. Again, it is great to see you. Thank you very much for, uh, for coming here, uh, for your company. And for those of you who are watching on YouTube, which we are just starting out right now, uh, good to see you. Welcome in. Uh, yes, every time a guy phone, we do like to, uh, I do like to turn on my YouTube so that, well, I mean, it's uh, something that we can, uh, we can use for, um, well, you, well, it'll make it, 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 editing to, to YouTube a hell of a lot easier when I have an, a VOD on that one as well, too. But uh, welcome in, everybody. How was your day today? Uh, and also, folks, yes, uh, you, you'll probably, you, you're probably wondering about Dumpling Daddy's uh, crush on, um, yes, I, I know everybody has a crush on Ewan McGregor, but, I mean, seriously, I mean, uh, if anyone's ever, okay, uh, one's in chat, if anyone's actually seen the movie, um, I love you, Philip Morris. Uh, he was, uh, he was, um... He was Philip Morris, uh, 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 um, beside, um, alongside with um, Jim Carrey's, uh, J J Jim Carrey's character, which is based on a real story. And yes, I mean, I'm sorry. I mean, uh, I, I saw again. I, I did watch. I, I did watch uh, Ewan McGregor in, 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 in what's it, in what's it called? In, uh, in that movie, in, in uh, Attack of the. I'm um, sorry, that was the third movie as well too. So. So what was the third movie again? Um, let me take a look here. Sorry, hold on a second. Um, uh, Revenge of the Sith. I mean, uh, I mean the, the the beard looks uh, the beard looks good on him, but seriously, something about him clean cut and just had this kind of like little bu little little buff uh, little kind of like a nice cut, like little little not I won't say bob cut, but like a little nice short cut, uh, nicely combed, um, slightly skinny and. Uh, and just kind of, and, and, and speaking in that like really, really like heavy Southern accent that he pulled off, seriously, oh my God. I mean, seriously, I mean, I mean who wouldn't fucking fall in love with, uh, who wouldn't say I love you Philip Morris with that, uh, when, when, when Ewan McGregor's that as well too. But uh, anyway, so I mean, so. But anyway, Guy Fong, I mean, uh, if anyone ever wants to give me a cameo, uh, yeah, you know what, you know what to do. You, you, if one of wants to get Dumpling Daddy a cameo, you know, you, from Ewan McGregor, you know what to do. So. Yes, that's a, probably one of my. That, that's probably the. That's probably my one of my favorite roles. I mean, the favorite role I have from from Ewan McGregor. But, uh, but anyway, so. But then again, sometimes uh, Dumpling Daddy can be lonely as well too. So if anyway, so. Anyway, enough of one of my uh, of my non-existent love life as well too. But uh, anyway, how are you doing today? Good to see you. Welcome in everybody. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly set up our board here. Um, I've again tonight's recipe is going to be. Is. Gonna be relatively, uh, relatively straightforward here. So again, it's not, it's not, it's not particularly gonna be super difficult. Uh, this is gonna be a rest. Of, uh, again, Tuesday nights uh, are gonna be nights. Uh, besides when, of course, we have themes, uh, will be something that we are gonna be. Uh, will be something that I want. I, I would like for everybody to be able to recreate easily as well too. So do a little Disney video. Uh, as well too. Ooh, no worries. Again, Kai, take care of yourself, my friend. Um, hold on. Speaking of the Disney VHSs, did anyone remember having, um, remember the Disney had like these, uh, like these, uh, toys, like the uh, Disney Happy Meal toys in those, um, in the, um, what's it called? In the, uh, god dang it, what was, what was the word I'm recording? Uh, in the, in, in the VHS, in, in the, in their VHS boxes, so it's so they, they were being so the little figurines were being held in the box. Uh, they were in the boxes that that that, that would kind of look like the VHS boxes. I if anyone if, if you know you know as well too, right? If anyone remembers the uh, the old VHS boxes from uh, from from, from Di those Disney boxes, you know what I mean as well too, right? So uh, Mullen and the Attack of the Clones. He rocked a mullet. I don't remember that as well too. So I mean, uh, the Southern Essence is phenomenal. It was even better in Big Fish. I don't think I've seen Big. I haven't seen Big Fish. So. Maybe we'll do that for a maybe we'll do that for a movie night. Maybe one of these days as well too. So we'll we'll watch Big Fish. We'll we'll do it. Oh my god, guy phone. Would it be would it give me gauche of me to uh, to do a uh, Hugh McGregor of Thursdays? So literally do do f uh, four Thursdays of of nothing but Ewan McGregor. Uh, anyway, so anyway, guy phone. Like I said, I mean, uh, but but again, breaking news. Yes, Ewan McGregor is my is my lover. So yes. Ewan McGregor is my secret lover. So, I mean, anyway, so, anyway, so, yes, Dumpling Daddy loves Ewan McGregor, so. There, I said it, okay? There, I said it, I said it, okay? Okay, anyway, so, all right, so, to make our life a hell of a lot easier, Guy Funk, if you can, again, this is a, Toban Chung uh, is, again, it's fermented bean, so, if you ever, if you go to the store, 
looked uh, again. It's it, again, again. I don't want to say when you when you use this. Um, uh, look for the what brand with the most Chinese. So honestly, most brands are really good. But if you can find the one that says Pixian Doban, so P I X I A N, it's transliterated as P I X I A N, Pixian or Beiyun, uh, Beiyun in Cantonese or Pixian uh, Doban. You've you've got the good stuff. So this is what we're using. Uh, there are multiple brands out there. So um, so. So, but again, as long as you look for PC and Doban, you'll be absolutely fine. And this stuff, as you can, uh, this stuff is, you can smell, a, there's a little spice to it. Again, it's not super spicy, uh, but it also has a lot of, sp so it's spicy and also a lot of chilies and a lot of beans. Um, uh, and, and your, well, your, your, your fermented soybean here is what you said. It has a very nice, nice like umami kind of spice. Slightly spicy, but also like a nice umami flavor to it. Uh, it's also incredibly chunky. So to make our lives a hell of a lot easier, uh, Guy Fong, we are going to be blitzing this as well too here. So, mm -hmm. ooh, wait, was he wait? Was he in Moulin Rouge too? Wait, what? Oh wait, what role did Ewan McGregor play in in, in Moulin uh, in in Moulin Rouge? I'm trying to remember what he what he did in Moulin Rouge. Also wasn't, wait, hold on, now, now I'm trying to remember. Moulin Rouge is so good. I mean, the movie Moulin Rouge also gave us the Hi. song, uh, um, well, oh, hello. The, re the remake of the, of the uh, Marmalade, um, the, the version of a uh, lady, of Mar uh, Lady Marmalade as well too. Creole Lady Marmalade, voulez-vous les couches, ben voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir? That's the man. Rexis, you know if you keep doing this, I will not kushe. I will not kushe avec vous ce soir, okay? Seriously, that's not how to how to kush voulez vous. That's not how you kushe avec moi ce soir, okay? Seriously. Damn it, Rexis! Seriously. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! You do that as well too. So, uh, he plays Christine in Moulin Rouge. Oh, okay. Mm. Christian. Okay. Hmm. Uh, not committing tax fraud. Ooh, well, that's good as well, too. Welcome in. Good to see you. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> All right, folks. Oh, yes, Daddy. Yes. No, Rexus. No, Rexus. Down. Don't make me get the. Don't make me get the squirt bottle. Don't make me. Don't make me get the squirt bottle. I, you know as well, too. So, yes. Anyway. So, yes. And Pika Master, no. Do, do not encourage Rexus. Do not encourage Rexus. <laughs> yes. Mm. Mm. You can. We have a. We can have a. You and Great for a long time. Okay, so okay, so so okay, so let me let me just remember. It's okay. All right, hold on, I'm just gonna make a quick little adjustment here. So uh, we, I just need to start by blitzing our. Okay, this is a little bit thick, so I'm actually gonna add a just a touch of water here. So. Go straight to horny jail. No, no. Who's who's sending me to horny jail? Rex says no. I no. You go to horny jail, making me make making me think of a couche avec to say soir. Oh, seriously. Making me sing in French as well too. So I mean, God, seriously, seriously, Rexus. Things you do to me, man. Things you do to me, Rexus. Seriously. Uh, once again, folks, if you're just coming in, yes, Rexus does drive me crazy. So this is how this is how Rexus drives me crazy. So uh, so he drives me crazy. So then anyway, so <laughs> so exactly. Um, let me encourage you, Christine. Um, actually, yeah. What else was uh, what else? Um, uh, sounds like a fun night. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, I mean, okay, for reals, though, Guy Fong. I mean, uh, who do we have crushes on? But like, if we, uh, like, um, like character-wise or anything like that, Guy Fong. What kind of, what kind of, what kind of, what kind of, what kind of uh, movie stars do we have crushes on? By the way, so I told you, you, I, I've told you mine. I've told you mine. I told you that I have a big crush on you and McGregor. So, uh, um, who else do I have a big crush on? Um, not Leo. Um, I'm trying to remember now. I'll, I'll probably remember a few more as well too as we go along. So, uh, dang it. Ooh. But anyway, so maybe we'll do maybe do Dumpling Daddy's Fantasy D Date Night Thursdays as well too. So, uh, so and one of those nights will be Ewan McGregor. So, but uh, now I need to remember all the all of the ones that all of the all 
all the lovely, uh, all the lovely, uh, all the lovely gentlemen that uh, Dumpling Daddy has a, has a massive crush on as well too here. So, and that's okay. I remember another name as well too. So I mean, uh, this is a name that only Englishmen, uh, like folks who play, who watch cricket, will know. Paul Collingwood is another major cr uh, guy I have a huge crush on as well too. But uh, but, uh, but anyway, he's a, he's a little older than me. But uh, but uh, anyway, so now the redhead as well too. So I mean, uh, so. I mean, uh, if, you, if you're not, not sensing the trend, I mean, uh, you can you can tell that uh, Dumpling Daddy has a thing for for redheads as well too. So, uh, Tom Felton, ooh, Tom Felton. Hmm. Wait, what's the guy's name that, that that played Ron Weasley? Help me out on this one. I don't have a crush on him, but he's not bad looking. He's not bad looking. All right, speaking of which, hold on a second. Uh, we're blitzing this for us, so this is going to make it a little, make it a little bit easier for uh, for us when we when we stir fry this, uh, and also for uh, for our uh, secondary uh, dish if we do this as well too. So, uh, so guy phone, uh, loud noise is coming up in three, two, one. You don't have to puree this, by the way, but uh, uh, just the uh, if you puree it, if you just give it a kind of little uh, uh, little puree before you uh, before you make this, uh, it's gonna make your life a hell of a lot easier, by the way, too. So, uh, uh, Naomi Watts, okay, Naomi Watts, um, Hot. Oh, who's she in? Pizza, good to see you. Welcome in. We were just we we're just talking a little bit about some of our favorite movie crushes, by the way. So, uh, so I've told you about uh, Guy Fong. I just uh, for those of you just don't know, of course. Uh, you just found out two of mine. Paul, uh, English cricketer Paul Collingwood, uh, English cricketer Paul Collingwood, uh, and you um, and 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 uh, you and McGregor, also uh, Philip Morris or uh, or uh, Obi Wan Kenobi. So uh, anyway, guy phone. Okay. All right, let's see. Like I said, I think I think this is actually a lot better right now. Okay, yeah. So, okay, so this is a little. It's a little less chunky. It's just, there's still a little chunk in this, but when we fry this, seriously, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a hell of a lot better here. So this is looking good. I'm gonna go grab myself a rice bowl, and we are gonna spatty all of this into our bowl here. So, again, Guy Fong, if you do if you if you do work with uh, spicy bean paste or thoban chung, you don't have to do this, uh, but I'd say probably recommend it. Uh, so that you don't have a lot of super, a super lot of chunks as well too here. So, uh, guy, I'll just see. So, Christina, ooh, <gasps> Christina Ricci. Oh, you know what? When I was younger, uh, Christina Ricci is actually really cool, though, the way. So, I mean, uh, I remember when it, when she was um, uh, no, Christina Ricci was Wednesday Adams, right? I think she was the original Wednesday Adams. Uh, in the, I'm trying to remember. I think Christina Ricci actually played Wednesday Adams. Uh, um. A while back, I think. So uh, I just can't remember what movie. Um, I think it was like the original Adams Family movie. I think she she played she played Wednesday Adams. I can't remember who actually played Pugsley though. Probably not as well known. But um, Raul Julia was Gomez, and um, Angelica Houston was the Angelica Houston was Morticia. Anyone remember that movie? Yeah. I'm also trying to remember who uh, uh, Uncle Fester who played Uncle Fester. I think. Can't remember, but Raul Julia and Angelica Houston and Christina Ricci, I believe, was in, uh, in those movies as well too. Here, so, hmm, so uh, with the ring and King Kong, King Kong. Okay, how many remakes of King Kong have there been recently, though, uh, uh, Brenty? So maybe that's why as well too. Because I might also be mixing her up. Uh, Naomi Moss. I might be mis mixing mixing her up with um, what's her face? Uh, Naomi Campbell as well too. So I mean, I don't Naomi Campbell's a big me a big um, big uh, supermodel, but. Uh, that's for sure, too. So, mm -hmm. uh, not the original. Okay, not the original, but in the first movies in the nineties. Okay, Uncle Fester was Christopher Lloyd. Wait, the same Christopher Lloyd who played um, Doc Brown? Like Christopher Lloyd played Doc Brown in Back to the Future, didn't he? I think so. Rupert was one reason. Okay, Rupert was a uh, Rupert Front was world. Okay, thank you, Kai. Thank you, thank you. Uh, mm. Okay, wow. Okay. Christopher Lloyd is, because Uncle Fester is supposed to be like super short though, isn't he? He's supposed to be like super short. 
I'm a little surprised that I'm a little surprised that they they, they got Christopher Roy to play uh, play him. Interesting. So I mean, uh, hmm. but uh, let's see, I think I think Christopher Lloyd has the kind of the comedic chops to pull off Uncle Fester. That's probably also why as well too. So, all right, guys, well, hold on a second. We're gonna go get our aromatics. So again, as we're playing our stream raider battle, we want to play exclamation mark sr. Uh, we're just gonna get some aromatics here. So, uh, the uh, the classic aromatics, by the way. And we're gonna be using a whole shit ton of chilies. But uh, well, I mean, you. Uh, if you've, if you've been in for you definitely know uh, we like to uh, we like to spice it up. We like it spicy around here. So, uh, so I do need to make a quick little pickle chili, by the way, too. So I mean, I do need to I need to get that done as quick as possible here. So okay, mm. right, so. right. Okay, sorry, folks. So. Uh, by the way, this dish called Fish Fragrant, uh, again, uh, this is called Yu Xiang, or Fish Fragrant, Gai Fong, one big thing. Uh, this does not include, uh, this does not have seafood in it, so don't, if you are allergic to seafood, please don't worry. Um, there is no seafood in this one here, so I promise you, I promise you, there's no seafood in this. So it's only, uh, it's only a lot of very, very uh, umami ingredients here, so. All right, so I'm just going to grab a few things, just going to grab a few. All right, thank you very much. Uh, Barden, thank you very much for that. So, too. So, Grint. Okay, no, no Rupert Grint. Hmm. Uh, Rupert Grint also was um, in the movie for, um, was also in a music video for Ed Sheeran, I think, right? He kind of looks like Ed Sheeran. Honestly, I, that's the reason why I remember. Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. Now, seriously. <laughs> what? Seriously. I, I didn't say I had a crush on, on, on I didn't say I had a crush on, on, on Ed Sheeran. Seriously, I mean he can. I mean, um, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, he. I, I, I mean, he can definitely explore the shape of me as well too. I mean, he can explore the shape of Dumpling Daddy anytime. But uh, I mean, he's not my. He's he's not my crush type though. And yes, I know he's a redhead. But uh, but yeah, Ed 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 Sheeran's definitely not my type though. So uh, I'm seriously, I'm the brooding moody one. So I mean, that's okay. yes, you would not be wrong. Yes. Ed Sheeran and I would definitely have a very bad romance. I would have a very bad romance. So, anyway, oh, speaking of which, Guy Fong, let's go get the uh, back to the counter here. All right, so we have our, so again, so for our, our ingredients, Guy Fong, we have some our chili paste, so our doubanjang. I have some mushrooms. I'm gonna go grab some garlic. Sorry, well, not my garlic. To this, we're gonna need large ass knob of garlic. And a whole bunch of uh, base uh, white parts of the green onion, and we also have our mushrooms. So a couple, a couple mushrooms, and we also have our chilies. But the guy found these chilies. I do need to, I do need to, uh, uh, I need to um, quickly pickle them here. So I'm just gonna need to grab this in there. Uh, you you can buy pickled chilies if you do have, or if you have like um, chili garlic sauce, or or even if you have sriracha, you can actually do just do. Uh, something, something sour and spicy. So even if you want to do hot sauce, like you can totally do. You can sub the uh, the the, pick, the the Szechuan style pickled chilies with hot sauce. Um, again, I'm not a big fan into hot sauces, so uh, use something that's got got a good amount of acid and a lot a good amount of heat as well too. So, all right. So we're gonna do six again. I'm keeping. I'm, these are pretty big. So uh, there is gonna be more chilies coming by the way too. So I mean, right, I'm just gonna soak this in about a tablespoon of. Of um, rice wine vinegar. I'm actually then I'm going to get a little bit of water and I'm just going to pop it into the microwave here. So that that's going to be uh, so going to get those hydrated. Those that's uh, so that's going to be probably the world's uh, quickest uh, pickle here. So all right, hold on a second, guys. I'm just going to go go take a look through my notes here, see uh, what else we need as we do here. So hold on a second, folks. Okay, okay, nope, that's good. Okay, yep, we need a garlic as well too. So we need garlic, uh, about eight cloves of garlic here. Uh, oh yes, and we're also gonna need some onion as well too. So we're gonna need to do some onion. So, so need about, uh, I do have one onion, but I'm gonna use about a, I'm gonna use the rest of the onion that we actually didn't use on the, uh, on Sunday here. So, uh, so, but yeah, guy fun. So for the sauce that we're making, so this quote unquote ragu that on, on top of the spaghetti we're making, seriously, this is all, this is all seriously all you need. 
Well, except for the uh, pickled chilies is what you hear. So, anyway. Uh, the one one, one the girl would really love. Hmm. I mean... I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, Ed Sheeran's music is not bad. But honestly, I mean, besides Shape of You and Lego House, I mean... What other songs have you... Uh, no, no, what other songs have you done, by the way, too? So, I mean... Uh, I mean, at least, I mean, even someone like Adele. I mean, Adele, I mean... Uh, Never mind, I'll find someone like you. So I set fire to the rain, and then something, something touched the flames. Uh, I don't remember the rest of the lyrics, guy. Pong, so, so. I mean, set fire to the rain. Rumor has it. I mean, I know a lot more songs by Adele than I know by, by Ed Sheeran. So, uh, and. I think, that, wait, hold on, Ed Sheeran and, and uh, Adele's kind of in the same area as well, too, right? So, but anyway, so, anyway. Uh-oh, uh-oh, did someone? Okay, 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 someone needs to reset the... Okay. Yes, I know we're getting hot and steamy there, Rexus, but you didn't have to get it so hot that you'd, uh, you had to set off the smoke alarm there, too, there, uh, Mr. Rexus. I mean, uh, calm yourself, calm yourself. Check yourself before you, uh, before you oversteam yourself there, Mr. Rexus. I mean, yes, I mean, you, me, Pikachu Master, uh, Y. Brenty, uh, everybody, everybody wants to have a bad romance with Dumpling Daddy, but I mean, uh, don't get too steamed up, okay? Don't get, please, don't get too steamed up. It's, uh, it's not worth it. It's okay. <laughs> no, exactly, yes. Yeah, so. I know, right? So, I, s I just realized, seriously, my smoke alarm doesn't go like that. And also, what the hell have I just been cooking? God dang it, Rexus. Dang it, Rexus. Seriously. What are we going to do with you? Seriously. Everybody shame Rexus. Shame. Everybody shame Rexus for being a bat. For being a bat. So. All right. So, Guy Fong, with that said in mind, uh, we are going to need to do some slicing here. So, uh, ooh, okay. Okay. Ooh, it's okay. And uh, once again, folks, if you are ever marin uh, microwaving uh, anything, anything with vinegar in it, uh, please, of course, uh, open a window or uh, open a... Open a, a hood vent. Uh, turn on a hood vent because, uh, yeah. Ooh, okay. Ooh, mama, I can smell that. I can smell that from a mile away here. So, all right, just gonna trim this nubble ginger. I'm gonna save these. Uh, I'm gonna save this. Uh, save the things here. So, again, the fish fragrant or the yu xiang uh, has no seafood in it, but it is a lot of aromatics here. So, a lot of great aromatics. So you do want to make sure that you have all this. So. Uh, and yes, I am using a lot of ginger, but yes, this is, uh, this is exactly how much of ginger uh, you will need. So, uh, and then we are going to also be uh, having more chilies and more garlic as well too, but uh, well, you'll, uh, you'll just have to find out how, how that works as well too here. So, well, you'll have to stay with us as well too as we start doing. So, uh, there are multiple recipes for fish fragrance, so you don't, if you, uh, so again, like I said, you can, uh, you can do, uh, you can do it however you like, but uh, I mean, I would, I would, I'd be remiss if you didn't try my recipe as well, too. But anyway, that's what I said. Uh, uh, Rimbolo, Rimbolo Lair, good to see you. Welcome in. Hey, this is only part of the sauce. How are you doing today? Good to see you. Welcome in, my friend. Hey, bienvenue. Bienvenue a la... A la... A la bienvenue de la pa Papa de, do, de Dumpling uh, on, la, on, la, on la Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Good to see you. Uh, that's, uh, that's my very piss poor French as well, too. So again, good to see you. Welcome in, my friend. Mm -hmm. Uh, Motor Knight, good to see you. Welcome in. How are you, my friend? I see you. So, so. I mean, hey, I'm, just because I'm cooking, cutting aromatics doesn't mean I, I, I can't read chat as well, too. So, so. Uh, uh, and sort of joke there as well, too. But again, welcome in, everybody. Thank you for coming by. So, thank you, uh, thank you for coming to visit, visit Dumpling Daddy here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, everybody. So, all right. So, we peeled the garlic. We've uh, skinned the onion. Uh, I will de the mushrooms and chop the... Uh, Chop the thing. So uh, we're gonna do about eight cloves of garlic. And yes, <laughs> yes. Got it. There's no nuts here, but uh, actually, not my phone. Maybe we might put some. Now that now that now that someone said these nuts, maybe actually we might have chopped some. So maybe we might, might not some. We might chop some peanuts on top of this as well too. But uh, maybe. Maybe. If you smell what the rock is cooking! <laughs> yes. Oh, man. Right now, all I can smell is just pickled, uh, quick pickled vinegar, uh, uh, like a very heavy vinegar uh, uh, smell right now from the, uh, 
from our, from our pickling in chilies right now, but uh, guy fall. Once this is all being very, uh, once this is all cooked, seriously, I promise you, this is going to be a heck of this. Uh, 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 the uh, the aroma in this house is going to be a hell of a lot better as well too. Here, so my leg is a bit. Ooh. Wait, what kind of poker are you making, Motor Knight? I mean, it sounds good, but again, sorry about your leg, but I mean, hey, I mean that's I mean, it still sounds good though, but. Uh, all right, guy phone. So we're just peeling some uh, again, folks. If I do miss your message, bear with me a second. I'm just uh, I'm just peeling eight cloves of garlic here right now. So, uh, all right. So all right. How many do we have right now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, do I have any spare garlic that cloves that are open? Did I say eight? Haha. <laughs> no. Of course not. Of course not. I said twelve. So uh, so we're gonna do twelve large cloves of garlic here. So. Because I love garlic. So, uh. Hot! <laughs> Dicking! Ooh, nice! Yes. So, I mean, anyway, so. Hmm. Alright, let's go. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Perfect. So, again, so. Okay. I know there's, uh, I know they, I say that there's not, never, never too much garlic, but, uh, this, I think this is, uh, as what Goldilocks would say, would be just right. So, alright, so. 12, 12 cloves of garlic, massive nub of, but an, like a large nub of ginger. I mean, that's probably about three or four tablespoons of ginger once we chop it all up. So we do want to kind of keep this, uh, cut this nice and fine as well too here, but uh, we'll talk about more of that as well. So we'll, we'll wince everything so that this is going to all fry up very nicely as well too here. So Skip, how are you doing today? Good to see you. How are you, my friend? How have you been? Also, Guy Fong, um, besides us talking about our, uh, our, our movie crushes, uh, uh, and yes, Guy Fong, I did tell everybody about my love for uh, my love for both uh, England cricketer Paul Collingwood and and uh, Ewan McGregor. I mean, uh, yeah, anyway, so, uh, we're talking talking about our, our our crushes, by the way, Sue. So uh, actually, okay, actually, now that I think, now that I remember, seriously, does anyone remember? Um, everyone remembers Aqua, right? If anyone remembers Aqua, Rene from Aqua, yes, I also had a bit of a. So, Lene's the Lene's the, the girl, but Rene the uh, was the bald guy. Yes, so yes, yes. Yeah, Soren and, and Klaus. Yeah, cool, but yeah. Sorry, I just had a I had a thing for uh, I had a bit I had a bit of a thing for uh, for Rene as well too. So I mean, uh, and I'm not gonna lie, honestly. I mean, I mean, honestly, I kind of feel I, I kind of feel like Rene uh, uh, Rene and. Um, and Lene could have probably had been a really good couple as well too, but, uh, but apparently Lene actually ended up uh, end, ended up actually marrying Soren as well too, and then they got divorced as well too. But uh, anyway, so. <laughs> so no, but, Skip, how was your how was your day today? Good to see you. Okay, so uh, we'll see, yes. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Life in plastic, it's fantastic. You can crush the garlic and in, in every way. Imagination, life is your creation. Come on, garlic, let's go question. Ah, 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 yeah. Come on, garlic, let's go question. Ooh, wow, ah, ooh, wow. Ah. Oh, I'm having so much fun. Well, garlic, we're only just getting started. Oh, I'll crush for you any day again. So, Amy Adams is now. Yep. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I guess I, I mean there's. I mean, I mean yes. I mean most people know about that, but yes, I I did listen to a lot of Aqua when I was. A, besides Barbie Girls, were too right. I mean, uh, I mean uh, Cartoon Heroes was another good one. Cartoon Heroes was another good good one of the songs there. If only I could turn back time. A little bit more ballady from 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 Aqua on that one, but uh, it's a little bit out of um, kind of a little bit more out of uh, out of their um, their their usual wheelhouse, but uh, but yeah, that was another one of my another one of my favorites as well too. So besides Cartoon Heroes, we are the Cartoon Hero. Whoa -ho. Da, 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 last forever. Da 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 crazy mind. Whoa -ho. da 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 da
I mean, Skip, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I mean, uh, Amy Adams. Ooh. I mean, if I was, uh, again, if I went that way seriously, I think Amy Adams is like, not bad. Amy Poehler. Uh, or, um, if anyone actually uh, uh, subscribes to Dropout, seriously, Siobhan. Siobhan Thompson? She's actually not, she's actually pretty cool. I can't, I, I, I can't feel like Siobhan would probably someone I would probably have a beer with. So, and of course, I mean, anyway, so. Yes. And of course, most people are probably expecting that would say to me to say Grant O'Brien, but uh, sorry, I mean, uh, I would actually have a thing. I think, you know, I gotta say, I gotta, I think I have a thing for uh, Brendan. Um, Brendan. Brendan Lee Mulligan. Now that, now that guy, seriously. Now, now, now he's a good one. So, I mean, uh, oh, too bad he's not gay, which is, which is really sad, but at least I know he's an ally, which is cool. So, but uh, so yeah. Now, Brennan. Now he's a good one. But yeah, Siobhan would probably be like a be the best friend, but. Uh, but Brennan, no, he's been, he's been my crush. So, but anyways, Siobhan, exactly. Yes, also no best friend for Barbara. Really? Whoa. Okay. Are you for reals? I'm sorry. What? Wait. Did they just release the? Did they just release the uh, the nominees? The Emmy, the, the the Oscar nominees? No. Okay. I need to see this. I need to see this. Are you shitting me right now? Lily Gladstone, Martin Scorsese. Barbie with eight, okay. High profile snubs include Leonardo Cam Greta Gerwig didn't get one? Okay, whoa, 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 okay. American Fiction, Amanda of Fall, Barbie, okay, best picture. Killers of the Flower Moon. I think Oppenheimer's winning best picture, honestly. If Scorsese wins for Killers of the Flower Moon, I, I probably might scream. I think it's probably going to be Oppenheimer. Jeffrey Wright, I believe. Paul Giamatti. Bradley Cooper? Best actor in the leading role, Anik Benning. Best actor in a supporting role. Ryan Gosling is in supporting role. Okay. America Ferreira? Best writing. Best international film, Italy, Japan, Spain, Germany, and the United Kingdom. Nine nine. Oh, I pull that. Best documentary short spell. Oh, that's in Mandarin. So I mean, uh, best costume design. Oh, boo. Yeah, Greta Gerwig got robbed there. I think that I, I think Greta Gerwig probably got robbed there. That's uh, yeah, that's that's a tough one. Also, Pink Prius. Good to see you. Welcome in. Yeah. Ooh. No Margaret. No Greta. Yeah, I think, the, uh, I, okay, if Greta Gerwig is not there, I think Christopher Nolan's winning that one. Christopher Nolan probably has that on lock, unless Martin Scorsese can, can snatch that. I don't know about Best Actor. I don't know about Best Actor, though. I want to say Bradley Cooper, but I don't think it's his time. I don't think it's his time. I feel like it's probably Paul Giamatti. Wait, hold on. Does anyone remember if, if Paul Giamatti actually won a won an Oscar for Sideways? I think did he win a role? I think he won an Oscar for Sideways, didn't he? For Giamatti. I think it might be if if, if Paul Giamatti didn't win a, 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 a an Oscar in Sideways, I think this is his time. I think I think he's probably going to win one for, one for the holdovers. Uh, best actor in leading role. Harry Mulligan. Wow. Okay. I think that's probably going to be Lil, uh, Lily Gladstone, though. Robert De Niro? Robert Downey Jr.? For all the Barbie fans' sake, seriously, I hope Rodden Gosling and America Ferrera win their win their awards because, yeah, I mean, uh, I feel like there's going to be a there's going to be a riot if those two don't win. So, uh, but anyway, that's a big thing. So, Christian Pink. Ooh, Christian Chenoweth. Ooh, Christian Chenoweth is an ooh is a good one. 
Or, uh, you know what, um, Idina Menzel. Oh my god, Idina Menzel. I really like her as well, too, so there's like, uh, Raiders of Hope. No worries, Velos, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, no, Raid went elsewhere. No, that's okay, don't, hey, Lord Velos, don't worry about it. Okay, we're, we're all good, my friend. Thank you so much for, thank you for your, for, thank you for trying, seriously. I mean, I'm not, I am not gonna, again, seriously, Guy Fong. Like I said, no, no worries about you. So, okay, what was I doing again? So, we, we were, uh, Guy Fong, we were just talking, I was, I was just looking at the, um, we were just looking at the Oscars as well, too, so, uh, but yeah. I'm, I'm Guy Fong. Honestly, I'm looking at the I'm, I'm looking at the, the nominees right now, and seriously, that's that is that literally is screaming Oppenheimer night at the Oscars. I'm sorry, that's I, I feel like it's going to be Oppenheimer's night. If Barbie's not getting that many, seriously, I think it's going to be Oppenheimer. I, I think it's going to be Oppenheimer. So it's it's going to be this. It's kind of going to be like l last year when um, everything everywhere all at once actually won almost everything. So. Um, actually, who, who was it that didn't, uh, I think there was only one category, well, best actor that they didn't, uh, the best leading actor that they didn't win as well too, right? So, uh, all right, guys, I'm just going to, so for, folks, for our recipe, I have, oh, jeez, Louise, I just, just have to make sure I to, to look as well too here, so, uh, so. Yes, uh, I mean, I'm not going to lie, honestly, I kind, I kind of am hoping for Jeffrey Wright, by the way. Jeffrey Wright was, um, uh, Felix Leiter in, uh, in, um, Quantum Masalas. Yes, he was the American agent. So, I mean, he was actually, he's actually very good. I mean, I, I kind of hope it's Jeffrey Wright. My gut's telling me it's probably going to be Bradley Cooper, Paul Giamatti. But uh, I really hope it's going to be Jeffrey Wright, though. So. Sorry. All right, so, Guy Fong. Uh, so, there it is. So, Guy Fong, we have some green onions. So, about a, about a couple, to, about a quarter cup of green onions. So, we're just going to put this onto our plate. So we're gonna put this. So this, uh, all of this is just gonna go into, into one plate here. So, and now we're just gonna do, just gonna slice up our ginger. So we're just gonna do a very fine dice of ginger. I do like uh, I do like ginger, but I don't like a massive chunks of it as well too here. So, yeah, no, no worries. Yeah. So wow. Okay. So what are we thinking though, Guy Fong? I mean, uh, actually, actually, hold on. When when is the Oscars, by the way? March 10th. Sunday, March the 10th. Hmm. Hmm. What are we thinking? Guy Fong, do we, do we want to do an Oscar party? Do, do we want to dress up and do it like, do we all want to do a uh, dress up Oscar party and we make Oscar, um, we make, uh, we make Oscar snacks, well, movie snacks, and then, and then we watch the, we watch it together? Who'll be up for watching that? I mean, I know, I know award shows are not for everybody, but, uh, but I mean, uh, who, Maybe we'll do a, like an Asian movie theater night or something like that. So, so maybe say some street snacks from Hong Kong, and then we'll do that. Although of course, uh, Hong Kong doesn't look like they 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 uh, they got any no no major Hong Kong movies uh, eight Chinese movies actually got a uh, got nominations this year as well too. So uh, which is uh, which honestly honestly I don't think there has to be an, an, any actually major Chinese movie uh, Chinese language movies that have been been out for a while as well too. So maybe that's the thing so too. So yeah. mm -hmm. okay, it is a little bouncy. Okay. I'll just have to stay a little bit, um, a little bit still for a blit as well too here. So, uh, Mel, thank you so much for that too. So, yeah, dressing room, uh, boycotting Barbie should have been all over that for noms. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Maybe we could just do. We, we can all just dress up in nice and pink, and uh, we can we can we can all have a we can we can all have a silent protest. So we'll make Barbie food, and we'll do we'll do a. Justice for Barbie night or something like that, right? So, justice for Barbie! Justice for Barbie! <laughs> yes. Justice for Barbie, everybody. Justice for Barbie. Seriously. But I seriously, for, for every, I think, seriously, Lexa, for your sake, I seriously hope that, that America Ferreira and Ryan Gosling win their, win their categories. Because, yeah, I mean, they are up against uh, people from Oppenheimer, though. So, I mean, I, I'm not... I'm not hopeful, but uh, for your sake, I hope they do because uh, I feel like it's probably just the fair thing. But but Margot Robbie not getting anything though. I'm 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 still a little gobsmacked by that. So all right, we're gonna get some onion on this one here. So <laughs> hey, learning, good to see you. Welcome in, rose pigeons. Ooh, Prius. How did you know? How did you know, rose? Roast pigeon or like you got oh 
Dang it. Okay, that might not be a bad that might not be a bad idea. Like roast roast quail or or like like deep fried quail. Ooh, that might not be a bad idea. So. All right, hold on, Nepo. Let's go get the uh... All right, let's going to dice up one onion here. So, sorry. Let's fine dice one onion. So and guys, you can tell that I'm not, I'm not I, I don't have, this is just a used, uh, well, I, I've used half the onion for our yakisoba on Sunday, so that's why I'm just using this as well too here, so. Mm -hmm. Hey, Oki, um, Okie Doki, uh, Okie Doki, good to see you, welcome in, how are you doing, my friend? Uh, we're just, uh, Guy Fong, again, we're, we're, we're kind of just uh, kind of talking about movie crushes and also how uh, apparently Barbie didn't get a lot of uh, nominations this year as well too, so. Well, got eight nominations for, for, for the Oscars, but... Uh, yeah, apparently didn't get some of the big ones here. So, a couple of the, the director is a, got a little stubbed as well, too. Here, so. I'm actually doing well. Mm -hmm. Wait, ooh. Who just got inducted to the MLB Hall of Fame? Honestly, I don't even know who was actually in the MLB Hall of Fame. Is that a little embarrassing that I don't know? So. I did watch baseball in the era of like Sammy Sosa and, and Mark McGuire, though. So, I mean, so, I mean. I don't think those guys will ever be in the hall. I think after after what happened, but uh, so. But anyway, that's a that's 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 the limit of uh, my my baseball knowledge is relatively limited as well too. So I mean, all right, Guy Fong also is, and Guy Fong, we are just putting together. Uh, so we are putting our, our ing together right now all of our ingredients for our fish fragrant spaghetti tonight. So. Uh, so we are gonna. So again, I'm just getting everything together right now. All of our aromatics. So uh, and oh no, my mushroom, mushroom. Uh, we are gonna. We, we are using shiitake mushroom, but uh, seriously, if you have creminis or even button mushrooms, uh, you can use those as well too. So just make sure if you do. Um, just find uh, Just find a mushroom that's like super super ar uh, aromatic. So again, so so button mushrooms are nice if that's all you can get. But if you can get sh at shiitake mushrooms. Uh, or even like cremini or something like that. Seriously, uh, use those as well too here. So, mm -hmm. movies do not like beside the cinema. Really? Yeah. Mm. Uh, well, honestly, I mean, hey, if, you, if you're just coming in for the first time, welcome in. Uh, well, I like to put Asia in your mouth. So uh, tonight we're doing a Szechuan inspired spaghetti, uh, inspired by Yushan Kids or the or the quote unquote fish fragrant. So yeah, no, there's no seafood in this. So. Uh, the fish fragrant, Szechuan style fish fragrant uh, spaghetti. So we're gonna be using pork. So we do, so this will be, so so yes, yeah, so all of this plus the mushrooms and some pickled chilies uh, will be will be chopped together alongside some a uh, little bit extra peppers. And we're gonna be uh, making, uh, we're gonna serve this, uh, we're gonna serve this uh, fish fragrant ragu on top of our, top of some bucatini this evening here. So, so very simple meal uh, and something that I, I hope you will try as well too. So, uh, so uh, we do that. Uh, we do that. This is something I'm starting uh, uh, for the first time tonight. So, uh, so this is our very first first in one ingredient Thursday. Well, one ingredient Thursday. Sorry, the Tuesday. Why did I say Thursday? So, uh, one ingredient Tuesday, uh, where we take one star ingredient and we're turning it into something absolutely wonderful here. So, again, mm. a very sharp knife. That's why. O okay, o okay. We sharpen our knife live, and seriously very fast so uh, a very sharp knife and uh, yeah yeah actually i'm not even crying yet so i mean seriously that's actually kind of weird so i mean i was actually a little i'm a little kind of um shocked that i'm actually this thing this just means that this knife is very very sharp here so uh, so you can see how sharp this knife is right now so uh guy phone again uh, if you uh, if you are uh, the uh if you are a little uh if you are afraid of knives don't be just uh Seriously, make sure your knives are nice and sharp. Uh, it'll be even safer for you as well too here. So, all right, guys. I don't think these things are gonna uh, flatten up very well here. So this one's a little thick, but uh, we're just gonna do a quick dice on these as well too here. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so food. You know what? There's nothing wrong with it. Seriously, I know mushrooms can be a can be a big thing, but seriously, if you cut them very nice and small and you cook them really nice, you won't even notice that they're there. So. You'll get you'll you'll get a nice earthy flavor. Uh, you'll get a light nice light nice nice light earthy flavor. But seriously, if you if you cut them small, or you chop them until like like tiny bits, you're not gonna notice them. Seriously, 
So that's how, honestly, that's how I usually hide oh. my emotions as well, too. But uh, that's a big thing. Oh, too. hello. Uh, also, uh, Girl in Garden, good to see you. How are you, my friend? Uh, also, uh, a cat. A cat square. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Guy Fong Clan. Welcome in, everybody. Thank you for the follows. Um, welcome in. Uh, if you are just, uh, again, folks, uh, if you are here for the first time, uh, if you feel comfortable, uh, tell us where you're watching from. Again, good to see you. Welcome in, everybody. So, always good to have new Guy Fong, which is a Cantonese word for neighbor. It's the name of our name of our community. So, they joined us here. So, uh, and again, Guy Fong. Like I said, I mean, if you, if you, there are again, this is a recipe that uh, uh, you don't have mushrooms. Seriously, you don't have to have it, but uh, it is definitely something I would highly recommend. But uh, anyway, so if you don't have it though, uh, you would just. Um, if you don't want mushrooms in there, uh, or you're allergic to mushrooms, uh, or, but you're not allergic to fermented, uh, like soybeans, you're not allergic to soy, seriously, uh, do the ferment, uh, uh, fermented soybeans. Or maybe say just replace all, uh, replace some of the, um, replace that with a little bit of carrot and onion, and you should be fine as well too, so. Uh, and yes, Guy Fong, you, th this, w you can also add some tomato to the sauce as well too, but uh, Guy Fong, tonight, we're gonna keep it relatively simple. We're not going to, uh, we're not going to, um, we're gonna and we're not gonna add tomato to this is what to here so so but uh, you can uh, you can totally add tomato to this if you want so add a little bit of that kind of like that Italian well that quote unquote Italian flavor is what too so hey no problem welcome in so no worries uh, hey Nadine good to see you ramen ooh now that's a good one I absolutely love ramen too but uh, I don't make it as often but uh, I will be guy phone again I'm I'm, I'm kind of planning it right now but I am going to be doing um, um, Chinese handful noodles very soon again. So, for those of you who were, um, if you were here on Sunday, we, I was just telling you about, uh, it was my mom's birthday on, 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 on Sunday. Uh, on Saturday, uh, before I made her, uh, her um, the sushi meal on, on Sunday, uh, we went out to a uh, Lanjo Lamian shop. So it's a, chi a Chinese handful noodle shop uh, in, in the Northeast here in Calgary. And uh, I gotta say, I saw the guy actually pull, I saw the chefs pulling the noodles, like, like actually stretching, hand stretching the noodles. And seriously, it's just like, you know what? This is a sign that I need to try again. So we have done it before, but we haven't succeeded just yet, which is, uh, which is something that's kind of just annoying me as well too. So, so anyway, so, hey, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, oh yes. And trust me, my, my mom said, will uh, will definitely say thank you for that as well too. So yes, thank you. No worries, I guess. Will there be two, three tons of chilies? Oh, you absolutely do so. What are you doing Tabatai cooking? Oh, hey, cat. Very nice. So, yeah, so Tabatai, another wonderful person. I mean, I love that guy. So, I mean, I uh, haven't seen him in a while, though. I mean, uh, but, uh, yes, uh, Tabatai is one of my old, uh, I would consider him to be an old friend as well, too. So, I haven't seen him in a while. Um, but, again, I know it's, uh, the food and drink scene has kind of changed a little bit as well, too. So, a lot of a lot of new people have come in. Uh, some people come, uh, new come in, some older folks have uh, uh, some of the uh, some of the older older tenured folks have uh, have left or or taken a long hiatus. Uh, but uh, Tabitai is definitely one. Uh, Tabitai and, and the Taws are people who are really kind of stayed Let's around for this one too. So, so anyway, that doesn't. Yeah. Uh, Bing 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 Min may be easier. Pink, we have done Bing Bing Min. Yes, that's we got that one. We got that one on lock. But it's the Lanjo Lamian or the or the hand pull noodle that is. That is the holy grail, Guy Fong. The day we finally get that one right, seriously, will be the, will be my happiest day. Next to, of course, catching Twitch, uh, catch, uh, getting Twitch partner and getting uh, uh, getting uh, partnership on, on 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 YouTube as well too. But uh, and again, honestly, honestly, my my, my YouTube journey is only beginning as well too. But uh, anyway, so all right, so we're also going to do some Szechuan peppercorns. You can just sub this with some black peppercorns if you don't have it. So. This is gonna give our give our fish fragrant a little bit of that kind of like the, uh, num um, the 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 kind of like the numbing spice here. So, so. Remember, what Prius was asked, just asking about how there's like three types of chili in here. Yeah, this is the as well too. So yes, yeah, so. out of a job, Mrs. Ruby is stopping food. Wait, really? Oh my God, Katie, stop! Really? Ooh, wait, what eight styles? Like eight styles of handful noodles? Yeah, where is actually Skip? Where, where, where has um? Yeah, I actually haven't seen Katie in a while. Has she, has she been well? I hope she. I hope she, she's she's been doing well. I really hope she has. Actually, I haven't seen her live in a while, so too. So I mean, yeah. So, but again, Katie and uh, Mrs. Ruby, another huge, 
another good friend of ours, uh, which I have, who I haven't seen in a while. Cheese Pizza is another name I haven't seen in a while. Zobo Cat I haven't seen. Uh, Kitchen Confidence I haven't seen him in a while. So, holy crap! Actually, there's a lot of old names from from back in a couple of years ago that honestly aren't aren't around anymore. I mean, Can't Eat Onions isn't around anymore. So I mean, uh, uh, Savannah and so Savannah and Logan Ingrediology is no longer around. Yeah, and now of course, shush, now and now and now Mrs. Ruby's not streaming food anymore. That's yo, okay, yeah, that's that's news to me. So I mean, I I, I haven't uh, I haven't been really active in a lot of people's communities in a while. I mean, but uh, that's a little that kind of hurts a bit. Mosai yi sai sai. Oh, that one, like the like the different styles of thickness, different thicknesses. Okay, I mean, I mean honestly, I mean, once I know how to how to pull, uh, once I get the dough right, seriously. I think that's a matter of, it's only a matter of time before I got that one as well too, right? So, all right, this is a dry pipper. So again, we're just going to need to uh, get this into the bowl here. So, yeah. Mm -hmm, sorry. No, it's podcast. You didn't roll with John Blevins and John Blevins. Wow. Okay. Wow. She's, she's busy. I mean, uh, I mean, then again, Mrs. Ruby's always busy as well too, right? She has so many kids. So, I mean, uh, I totally see that, but, but Skip, you know, Hey, I mean, it's, uh, it's good to see you though. I mean, uh, but Hey. I gotta say, I mean, hey, even if 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 Katie's no longer around, seriously, or Katie's not doing food, not not, not as much food anymore, seriously, it's always gonna be our main main squeeze. So uh, so, you ever need your food food Twitch fix, you know where to come. You come you come to see Dumpling Daddy. All right, a little bit of chili. So that's gonna be good. So and uh, Guy Fong, we do have we'll have our have our quick pickle chilies. Let's see how plump they are now. I think they should be plumping up now. So hey, plumping up nicely. Hey, hey, yeah, good to see you. Welcome in. Nice. Oh, I know. Skip, seriously, Mrs. Uh, Katie deserves all the uh, all the good good stuff in the world. Seriously, I do I, I do wish. Even though they may not be with us, seriously, I truly truly wish all the best. I mean, seriously, I don't hold a lot. And the guy, honestly, I mean. Uh, this is actually something I, I, I don't, I, 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 it's only something I've really come up, um, realized recently, seriously. I find that I hold a lot of grudges. But you know what? Now that I've, uh, now that I've found uh, uh, my quote unquote people, right? I mean, people like Mrs. Ruby, Lumberman Cooking, uh, Sobo Cat, and all those folks, seriously, I don't have a lot of grudges. I don't hold a lot of grudges against a lot of people now. I mean, there are some people who I'm not going to like, but uh, I mean, at least I mean, at the very minimum, I, I will give them a modicum of respect as well too here, right? So, and Guy Fong, again, I'm, I'm not saying this just to generate controversy or anything like that. It's the way I'd say as well too. So yeah. So, but anyway, Guy Fong, like I said, uh, speaking of which, Guy Fong, I do see our stream meta battles ready to go. Uh, I also see that uh, we are coming up to the top of the hour. Uh, Guy Fong, I'm just going to take a quick little breath. I do need to go refresh my tea. Uh, our prep is now ready to go, so uh, we are going to be cooking in just a few moments. Uh, we're going to cook some, uh, we're going to get some, uh, if you've never seen it before, Guy Fong, we are going to be doing uh, doing the thing as well too here, so. Yeah. I know, Brenty, I mean, aren't I, aren't I just, a, aren't I just a shit disturber? I just, I just love stir, I just love stirring the pot, right? So, I mean, pots of sauce, oh! Anyway, so. Anyway, Guy Fong, I'm going to take a quick little break. Uh, Gonna go uh, refresh my tea. I'm gonna go take a take a quick little bra uh, break at the little chef's room. Uh, when we come back, Guy Fong, we're gonna get our, we're gonna get dinner together. And then once we start, once we finish eating that, uh, if we feel okay, uh, if, if, we, if we're still feeling good, Guy Fong, we'll do some. We'll, we'll make a little bit of a special dessert as well too. So uh, so a little spicy dessert. Uh, we'll uh, so uh, quick. Uh, we're gonna be making a quick little chocolate mug cake uh, with our star ingredients. So. Uh, this was actually from Boris, by the way. Boris Veselinski actually, uh, actually suggested that one. I don't know how that's going to work out, but you know, hey, Guy Fong, we're going we're, we're gonna to find out about that too. So, so, so. Uh, anyway, Guy Fong, speaking of which, uh, break time. We'll be back in approximately three minutes. Uh, I will play the stream raider battle as we're going along. If you are watching on Kickin YouTube, uh, YouTube, thank you for, your t for tuning in. Uh, Guy Fong, please, of course, join us. Uh, we are uh, both YouTube and Kick are currently uh, simulcast for the time being. Uh, and yeah, Guy Fong, like I said, I mean, uh, feel free, if you are on those platforms, please feel free to join us over on Twitch uh, for the full experience. But again, Guy Fong, we'll be back in approximately three minutes. Uh, yet also, I hope I said hi to you as well too. So uh, Guy Fong, hold on a second. We're going to get started in about three minutes. So we'll, we'll 
take a break. We'll be back in three minutes. Rose. A million times yes. That is my point. What's up, Higgum? You're Leo. You're Leo. If you have, if you resolve to do something, why wait? Do it. Do it. Just. Oh my goodness. This is going to get clipped again. I know that. But just do it. Just do it. Dang you, Shia LaBeouf. Dang you, Shia LaBeouf, for doing this. Just do it. Alrighty, welcome back, everybody. Uh, good to see you. Welcome in. Happy th uh, Happy Tuesday. That just sounds weird, but you know, hey, I mean, uh, Happy Tuesday. Good to see you. Welcome in. Uh, if you've been before, welcome back. If you've never been or uh, never been here before, welcome in. Uh, welcome back to uh, one ingredient th uh, one ingredient Tuesdays. Where we're taking one star ingredient and uh, turning it into something that uh, that you too can also put some Asia in your mouth with as well too. So, and tonight our star ingredient is the Szechuan style spicy bean paste, also known as Doubanjan in, in Japanese, Doubanjang in Cantonese, Doubanjang in Mandarin. So, uh, so yes, uh, this uh, this, um, this sauce is known in uh, three uh, is popular in uh, multiple places, and yes, uh, uh, Japan is definitely one of them. So we are taking that ingredient and we are we are taking that ingredient and we are turning it into something what we call a fish fragrant or yu xiang or yu heng yu heng ju you cao mi uh cao uh cao mi so folks we are putting we're making a Sichuan paschetti uh with quote unquote fish fragrant pork sauce so we do have some ground pork uh that we are going to be stir frying this sauce uh to stir frying this with uh and if you're just wondering what the ingredients are we have actually done a lot of chopping here, so this is what we have. So we blended our sauce. So we have our so we have our bean paste. So we have blended. We have some Szechuan peppercorns. We have some chili. We have some pickled chilies. What we need to pickle. Uh, we need to chop in a few seconds. Garlic, onion, ginger, scallion, and mushroom. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ingredients. 
There is a couple more ingredients. Uh, one couple more ingredients to come, but uh, you will. But those are uh, those are just kind of like a dump and pour kind of thing as well too. So again, welcome in. Hmm. Fifteen pounds. Hmm. I gotta say, unfortunately, Skip, I don't buy a lot of basmati rice. I really wish I could. I could tell you. So ask me. Good to see you. Welcome in. How are you, my friend? Welcome in. How was your day today? Also, Guy Fong, what's some, what are some of your favorite uh, things on pes uh, What are some of your favorite uh, toppings on peschetti, by the way? So, uh, how do you like your topping peschetti? So, uh, all right. Speaking of which, Guy Fong, we do need to build a slurry, by the way, too. So, uh, actually, sorry, Guy Fong, we do need to do to build two more things. We do need to build a liquid so uh, liquid seasoning component, uh, and also our slurry, which we are going to add. Uh, so we're going to build that uh, using a tablespoon of oyster sauce. To add a little extra umami. Uh, I did say earlier that this doesn't have seafood in it, but uh, yes, oyster sauce does have seafood in it. But you don't have to do this. So you can skip this. I actually personally like uh, uh, um, uh, oyster sauce in my in my fish fragrant sauce, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. So, All right, so I'm also just going to add about a teaspoon of... So, uh, that's about two teaspoons of... Of, of, of cornstarch. We'll do that as well, too. Uh, honestly, $14 for 15 pounds of rice. Hmm. Let me see. I'm kind of thinking as well, too. Because, uh, hold on. I know I bought a, I think I bought a 15 pound, I think I bought a 10 pound bag of sushi rice recently for about, for about $17 Canadian. So, I guess that's a good one, but unfortunately, I, I honestly, Skip, I really wish I could tell you. I don't, I don't buy uh, basmati often enough to, to, to tell you, I'm afraid. So sorry about that, my friend. Uh, hold on, folks. I'm just, also just going to just make sure, check our sauce here. So, okay, red chilies, sugar. Okay, we need some sugar here. So we need some sweetness. So we need to, so we need to, so, so we need sugar. We need some black vinegar, and we need some soy sauce uh, alongside. So, so we have our start. So we have our thickener. So, I do need a lot. So again, this is actually recipe. This this recipe will need approximately about uh, four teaspoons, uh, five teaspoons of sugar. But uh, I'm just gonna start with about two, three and a half. I don't want to do too much. Also gonna add about three tables, uh, three teaspoons of Soy sauce. So we have some oyster sauce. You don't. You can skip that. Sugar. About two teaspoons of soy. Two three teaspoons of soy. And then we're also going to add about four teasp teaspoons of black vinegar uh, to this. So you can use um you can you can use um uh, a kind of a cheapish uh, um what's it called. But uh, balsamic, if you want as well too. So no worries. Hey, thank you, but hey, a lot of parmesan. Bar bar Ooh, nice garlic and parmesan. Ooh, any shrimp on that, by the way? Garlic and parmesan. Garlic, parmesan, and shrimp are actually big. Uh, personally, for me, honestly, I find that they are very good friends. But uh, but uh, I could be wrong though. I mean, uh, so I'm just a big seafood guy. So I mean, uh, but uh, anyway, so I know not everybody likes seafood. So that's a big thing for me as well too. So a bit of a challenge for me. So but. Uh, but yes, this uh, this dish besides the uh, oyster sauce doesn't have have seafood in it. So, uh, but again, again, you don't have to, you don't have to, uh, you don't have to add the oyster sauce if you don't uh, you don't have it or you don't want to. But uh, it's a good way to add a little bit more uh, uh, more of that uh, umami in here as well too. So, and we're just giving our six Szechuan chilies. So these are kind of like a like a larger version of like Thai chilies. Uh, that we've actually uh, we've actually uh, heated up in some in the microwave uh, with about a half a cup of vinegar, so it's a quick pickled chili. So, uh, if you don't have this, you can just uh, swap it with maybe say, I don't know, maybe uh, like a Valentina or something. Like that. So I mean, uh, I mean, I've I've, I've heard I, I've heard varying reviews about Valentina. So I mean, uh, so you wanna if you have a bottle of Valentina, you wanna burn up seriously. I mean, uh, use it to make fish fragrant sauce seriously. So or, or use it as a uh, in place of sriracha for uh, for some things, well too. So I mean, uh, again, I've never really had it, so honestly, I'm not I'm not I, I'm not I'm not confident in that one. But hey, I mean, uh, I'm sure that uh, I'm sure it will work as well too, right? At least I hope it is. Okay, 
So uh, we so we have all of that ingredient here. Uh, let me also go to take a quick check of our pork as we'll do here. So, so. all right, I think I have a beef here. So that we, about four ounces of, be uh, of pork. So we do have some four ounces of pork. So uh, so we got a guy phone. Look at that. I mean, uh, everything is now uh, all of our everything for our sauce is nice and mees now. So this is so, so well. Uh, for our sauce is now ready to go. So we'll get our sauce simmering uh, before we start. Uh, we're going to get our sauce simmering uh, before we start cooking our noodles here. So okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Sesame garlic ch chow mein. Ooh, that sounds so good. Yo, Aspie, that sounds incredible. I'm not going to lie. That actually sounds incredible. And I kind of want some. I'm not going to lie. So, I will trade you. I will trade you what I'm making for some of that. Not going to lie. That sounds incredible. So, all right. So, folks, so it's gonna go correctly. Grab, grab our wok. So, uh, just gonna get the uh, get our uh, uh, stove cam set up here. Uh, once again, folks, if you're just coming in, welcome in. Uh, we're just currently getting all of our. Uh, we're just getting everything set up here right now. So, uh, okay, making sure it's good. So, just want to make sure that the uh, camera angles are nice and adjusted here. Perfect. That's good. Okay, I think we're good to go here. So let's go. Perfect. Mm -hmm, very no worries. Uh, Romano cheese. Ooh. You're a big fan of Romano. Ooh. Like Pecorino or Romano, right, Skip? Are you talking about Pecorino Romano? Mm. I do. I, I, I've had it. I gotta say, I'm a big fan of Grana Padano. Grana Padano? It's my jam. That's my jam. My, my real jam is uh, when it comes to like, like Parmesan y kind of so uh, cheeses. Yeah. Grana Padano is where it is, Guy Farm. I, I absolutely love it, but uh, I know it's not for everybody. But uh, I mean, real Parmigiano um, Parmigiano Reggiano is I know is pretty expensive, but uh, although I, although I actually do I do I actually have some as well too. So hold on, Guy Farm. I'm just gonna also just uh, just move a quick little thing as well too here. So uh, let me just uh, let me just make our adjust our angle here. Actually, do I have some Parm a Pecorino? Actually, do I have some Pecorino right now? Or some sort of hard cheese? Oh, actually, no, no never mind, Guy Fong. I, I just have some manchego. So I have some man manchego and some, and some cheddar. I don't have a, unfortunately, I don't have a, enough of that as well, too. So, ooh, yeah. Pecorino, absolutely. Pecorino is absolutely. So, honestly, I think, well, we, Parmesan, Grana, Pecorino, you can actually use all four, all three, four of Cacio e Pepe, can't you? So, all right, let's well, so start our walk with a little bit of. Of oil. Uh, we're going to start with our oil here. So, hold on a second, folks. Ooh, okay, yeah, that's going to make a quick check here. So, to okay, we got all of our things here. So, uh, all right. So, Gaffon, we're just waiting for the. Uh, we're just waiting for the uh, pot to. We're just waiting for the. We're just gonna wait for the uh, wok to, uh, to 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 heat up just a, uh, for just a few minutes here. So, mm -hmm. uh, Aldi. I don't try a lot of new to me cheese because Aldi supermarket. Really, Aldi? Does Aldi care a lot of um, a lot of um, cheeses from Europe? I know here in Calgary, Co-op does a lot of that. Um, Co-op does a lot of that. Um, Superstore not so much. Safeway and Sobeys not so much either. So. I knew definitely no co-op does a lot of that as well too. So co-op does a lot of that. So they have a lot of really good English cheeses like coastal cheddar. Now that's one of my favorites. So, but yeah, and yes, they do also have a Parmesan as well too. So, all right, guys, well, I think our wok is actually. Uh, so we're just getting our wok heated right now here. So, uh, and yes, folks, we are just going to take this one step at a time. We're going to get the, we're going to get our sauce done first. Uh, so sauce done first, and then after that, we're going to uh, we're going to we'll move it aside. And we'll get the, um, uh, what's it called? Oh, this is great cheeses. You've never used a wok. Okay. You know what, Alexa? Um, these wa these nonstick woks uh, from Korea are really good for, um, what's it called? Um, they're really good for stir frying uh, on, on electric stove. But if you want to get a metal one, uh, get a butane stove. So I know Chinese cooking demystified does use that, but uh, it is a, that's nice. Th they do? Wait, where is Aldi anyway? Are they all, wait, is Aldi all over the US? I know they come from Aldi is from Germany, isn't it right? I think I think they're a German company, I think. I know they have Aldi's in the UK. 
I know Andy probably could confirm that. I know that. I know, I know some some folks from. Uh, I know they have. Oh, jeez, oh, God, jeez, got Oh, jeez. Careful. All right. So I broke up the the pork here. So this doesn't look like a lot of pork, but seriously, once the sauce and everything's been added into it, this is gonna. There's gonna be a lot here. So this is probably enough for about two people, uh, two or three people. So you need to brown this just a little bit as well too. Oh, good, I don't know. Okay, most of the use here. Okay, yeah, like this over there. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Lexa, wait. You might be able to order nonstick wok some. Uh, I would say check Amazon, but your local, um, what's it called? Your your local. Shoot, shoot what's the, what's the we're looking for? Your your local uh, Asian grocery store might have that. So. Uh, All right, Cameron, sorry about that. No worries, no worries, yeah. Uh, kind of makes me remind me, kind of reminds me, I probably should, should reset up my, um, my, uh, what's it called? Oh, shoot, what's the one for? I should probably re reset up my uh, Amazon Associates account. So that y'all y'all get some uh, get something off of my list, I can make some commission off this as well too. But uh, maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe that's what I'll do. Like for ingredients. So maybe say every week. So again, when I get my off my lazy ass to do it, maybe that's what I'll do. Probably I'll build the list on Amazon, Amazon.com, so that y'all can actually, even if you don't buy it off Amazon, you can grab the list off there. So, but if you buy it off there, maybe you can then you can. You know what I mean, right? So, uh, I'll be with Amaranth. Black Wolf, I've never seen her. How are you doing, my friend? How are you doing, my friend? Good to see you. Welcome in. Yeah. Wait, hold on, also. Brenty, isn't. Isn't kind of North Pacific Northwest kind of like Albertson's territory? Or Fred Meyer? I do remember the jingle. You'll find it at Fred Meyer. Yes, we do watch Q6 here in Calgary. So that's it. Good to see you. Welcome in, my friend. How was? All right. So I think the pork is looking pretty good. I don't want to over. I don't want to. I did say I was going to brown it, but. Uh, I don't want to over brown it though, so just gonna let it kind of, just gonna move this off for a few seconds. So just gonna use this, uh, put this, uh, gonna drain off some of the fat. So let's get that uh, going. Use some of the remaining, use some of the remaining fat from the pork. Now we're just gonna start the walk again. And this time we're gonna start doing the aromatics here. So a little bit more oil. Get that here. I was in salsa Florida, but they left. Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll, Actually, honestly, now I think about it, honestly, I don't think that she actually really had any. Um, yeah. I'm kind of rumored if there's anything that I've actually really, really. Um, all right. All right, our pork's looking good, so I'm just going to throw. And Guy Fong, everything's going to go in all at once, so Guy Fong, we just need to, we're going to need to sweat everything. So all these green onions and everything, onions, garlic, ginger, mushrooms, all gonna go in together. Oh yeah, Guy Fong, I really wish you could smell this right now. This, this smells absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Safeway and Albertsons, yes. Yeah, interesting. Albert, yeah. Safeway is um, yeah, Safeway here in Canada is actually owned by um, Sobeys. So. Which is, uh, I believe, is owned by the Irvings in uh, from New Brunswick. So, uh. all righty, yeah, hold on. Let's turn on the thing here. Well, oh. all these aromatics, Guy Fong. I mean, seriously. I mean, if I really wish y'all could smell this right now, these, these smell absolutely fantastic. So, we're just gonna let the we're gonna let the onions kind of set uh, set for um, cook for a few seconds. 
I will also add some dry chilies, by the way. So. This sauce is going to be pretty spicy, though, by the way. So, again. Oh, God. Ooh. Watch your nose, folks. Ooh, ooh. It's going to go here. So, I'm going to have some jaded butter, brown Ramsey. Mm. Oh, Black Wolf, if you were. Uh, Unfortunately, neither of them. I gotta say, neither of them. Um, who's really good looking? I think, um, what's his face? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to remember the name of that Chuck. Chuck Hughes. Now, Chuck Hughes. Now, there's a chef. Chuck Hughes is a good. <coughs> Chuck Hughes is easy on the eyes. <coughs> if anyone remember Chuck. If anyone remember Chuck's day off, yeah, Chuck Chuck Hughes. He used to have a restaurant in Old Montreal. Go straight to Horny Jail. God damn it! Seriously, Chuck Hughes. Yes, Brenty, stop sending me to Horny Jail. That's Rexus's job. And yes, Rexus's job is going to Horny Jail every time. So, uh, so yes, so that's his job. Everybody send Rexus to Horny Jail. Thanks. All righty. Right, our aromatics actually are starting to smell really nice here. So yeah, so mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. No, no, not only, really dude. Don't worry about it, Red Phoenix. Seriously, how's? I'm guessing work was crazy today. Hoping it wasn't super. Hoping it wasn't. Hoping to, hoping work or, or school wasn't super crazy for you today. But it is good to see you, my friend. How have you been? Yeah, Chuck Hughes. Yes, so. Chuck Hughes. Um. Yeah. Honestly, chef-wise, I think Chuck Hughes is probably the only only one I would probably say I would that I kind of like. So, I have, and uh, again, you gotta also remember I actually have met some of the some of those chefs that are, that you see on Food Network Canada. I've actually read, met Roger Mooking. Roger is actually super cool. Roger's super cool. Uh, Connie D'Souza. I, I, I used to work under Connie D'Souza. Uh, Nicole, Nicole Gomez, who beat Bobby Flay. I know her. So, but yeah, Chuck Hughes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now don't you. Now you're just but now you're just trying to butter me up now, aren't you? Oh my god, Jack this is smelling. This smells absolutely fantastic right now. I'm actually really, really super excited. All right. So. Actually, gonna add a little bit more bean paste here. So, the bean paste is actually starting to really cook up really nicely here. So, I'm actually really, really kind of excited. Okay. So now, we're gonna start adding a whole bunch of liquids here to this here. So, all right, our pork can go back in first, though. Gonna give our pork a little bit of our, a little bit of cook. So, our fish fragrant or Szechuan fish fragrant or you know, uh, inspired sauce is well on its way now. So, so I just want to get the um, get the pork kind of just cook up a little bit as well too here. So, ooh, Padma Lashmi. Okay. Hmm. Seriously, honestly, another thing about honestly, Skip, I, I kind of would not mind meeting Pad uh, Padman Lakshmi. I think mean, she's actually pretty cool. Actually, I, I kind of would not mind meeting her. Although that would mean I actually have to apply for Top Chef USA, which is uh, which probably isn't going to happen here. So, although I'm still hoping they will do uh, Next Level Chef Canada, which. I'm like 99% certain that the, the judges of MasterChef will probably be, be doing that again. So probably Alvin Leung and, uh, and Michael Bonaccini probably will be, the, will be the judges for that. Or Gordon Ramsay. It will finally be Gordon Ramsay. But, uh, I do know there's a new season coming up there for the U.S. So, uh, oh my God, Guy Fong. Could you imagine? Okay, I'm not kidding. Guy Fong, could you imagine... 
if they did Next Level Chef Canada and Gordon Ramsay was in there? Holy shit, I would actually have to cook for Gordon Ramsay. And Guy Fawn, we would actually get to cook for Gordon Ramsay, finally, at last. I know it's probably one of the biggest questions y'all, a lot of you had when you first come in to, to, to my chat. Have you ever cooked for Gordon Ramsay? Have you met him? I have not. But they do Next Level Chef Canada, and he's part of it, seriously. That will be a, finally be our chance, folks. So, all right, folks, so we're going to also add our sauce here. So this is our oyster sauce, sugar, soy, and black vinegar. We're going to let that cook for a few seconds. Also going to add our, uh, going to add a little bit of our mushroom soaking liquid. So that's going to add a little bit, so that's going to add some of that extra mushroom flavor to it. So, and there's the sauce. So I'm not going to, I'm going to let it kind of, I'm just going to let it kind of reduce just a little bit. Uh, before we start thinking about adding uh, anything else in here as well, too. Here, so. Yeah. By the way, yeah, Guy Fong, we're to, again, I know we have our original question, but what, what are some of your crush, some of your crushes, by the way? So, um, what are your chef cook crushes, or honestly, any, any crushes at all? Hell, I mean, sports. What are some of your, some of your, uh, some of your crushes? So, feel free to share. All right. Ooh, okay. I'm going to reduce the heat. So, we're going to reduce the heat down to, on a medium up to low. I am going to give this a taste here, see uh, where we're at. Ooh. Oh man, this is good. Holy hell, this is good. Oh. We're going to let this kind of sit for a few minutes here. Oh, this is so good. This sauce is so good right now, Guy Fong. Not even kidding. We'll finish this off with a little bit more Chinese black vinegar at the end. But, yo. This is absolutely fantastic. So, oh. It's a little spicier than, than, than at, a, at, a, at, a, at a Chinese and a Cantonese restaurant. But, you know what? I don't care. Seriously. This, Guy Fong, again. All of these ingredients, uh, so far, I mean, besides the Szechuan, so besides the Szechuan peppercorn uh, and our star ingredient, which is our beautiful doubanjang. So this is what we're using today. I mean, most of these ingredients, so far, I mean, most of y'all can find at the, your local grocery store, right? I mean, and yes, for the pickled chilies, you can kind of sub it for Valentina or... Um, What's another hot sauce? What's that other hot sauce? Tapatio? Does anyone actually use tapatio? I feel like most people actually either use ta some some people use tapatio, some people use um, use Valentina. So, but if, hey, if you want to, but if, for the pickled chilies again, if you want to sub it with like maybe say something like. Ass blaster hot sauce, you can totally do that too. So, I'm adding a little bit more water to this. Just add a little extra water to kind of let it, um, just gonna bring it back up to a simmer. So, we're gonna let this kind of cook for a few seconds. Uh, we're gonna let it cook for a few more seconds uh, and then we're gonna let it go. Just gonna let it simmer a few seconds and then once we uh, give it about a five, five, I'd say probably give it about 20 25 minutes of, of like really low, low simmer. Once we bring this up to simmer, uh, once we bring this up to simmer, uh, we should be. Uh, we'll move it to the side, and then we'll get our uh, we'll get our we'll get our peschetti ready to go here, or the bucatini ready to go here too. So, and also, folks, stay tuned. We'll. Uh, really, your lo your husband loves tapatio. Okay. Hmm. Is it like super tangy though? Again, I've never had I, I've never had tapatio, so I mean I don't know. Uh, I've also never had Valentina, so I know Valentina. I've had a, I have a I've had a taste of it. It is pretty tangy though. So, all right, guys, I think there's actually one more thing I do need to add to this as well too. So just give me a second here. So I haven't forgotten about it. So we do also want to add our uh, we do want to add our uh, cornstarch slurry to this as well too here. So it's about a te about a teaspoon te teaspoon and a half. 
of water, sorry, half a, a teaspoon and a half of, of cornstarch, eh, dissolved in maybe, say, about a couple tablespoons of water. So this is just going to help us thicken it up a little bit here. So, but again, we're just going to we're going to be cooking this at a very low heat. I'm just going to move this off to the side, and that's just going to get the. Uh, well, that's just going to that's just going to slowly do its thing on on this stove right over here. So, uh, so which is going to free us uh, free up this stove for cooking our pasta. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, interesting. So. You, Wait, hold on. Your husband looks up to you. Hmm. Hmm. I know there's probably like a whole bunch of other tot sauces out there, but uh, what are y'all? What are what are what are some of the ones y'all like, by the way? All righty, folks. I think we have we have uh, I think we just have a few things that we need to do. So I do need to just uh, grab a few things. So we, again, so as we're waiting for the uh, for the sauce to kind of bring up, uh, come back to simmer, I am going to start building a little bit of. Uh, our garnish is here, so I'm just going to do a little bit of garnish. I'm going to chop a little bit of, little bit of green onion, get that ready to go, and then after that we're going to start to getting our, uh, get some green onions, uh, and also get some green onions, uh, and also some, uh, a little bit of green onion. So I'm just going to slice some uh, really, really uh, sharp angled sliced green onions. Nice long strips, as much as long as we can. So this is just going to be for our nice and beautiful garnish here. So, oh, I think that's actually looking pretty good. All right. So, again, I'm also going to be adding some of the whites here. So, this is going to be another big. So, I'm using the, it's kind of a combination of the white and the green. So, uh, again, our sauce is going to be nice and red. So, seriously, I mean, it's going to be a nice uh, combination here. So, uh, what would you make if you can't, couldn't have heated? What would you make? Honestly? Wait, sorry. What do you mean? Like, if I can't have heat in the in the sauce, Ooh. with the doubanjang, well, the doubanjang itself has some heat. Or, sorry, you might need to clarify that. So, the doubanjang does have a little bit of heat in it, but uh, if I wasn't doing it, honestly, I probably would add some tomatoes to really uh, kind of a uh, uh, move down the uh, like kind of da tone down the heat a little bit. So, well, for this dish anyway. So, I would also not add the uh, the pickled chilies to this one well, too, but. Uh, I mean, uh, in a, in a ch in a Cantonese restaurant, they will actually not put a lot of the chilies. Sorry, uh, uh, you can't eat hot. Wow. Okay, that's a little. I mean, there is a lot of hot in this in the bean paste, but yeah, mm. yeah. I probably make the exact same thing, uh, except I wouldn't use. Um, there would be no chilies. There would be no Szechuan peppercorns. There would be no chili flakes. Uh, probably a lot less garlic. So. Ah, jeez, that would be a hard one. Hmm. Probably would do a pork dish. Probably, I probably would do like maybe say like a, like a cold pork dish, uh, with the tilamanjang. But uh, that's gonna be a hard one, though, Alexa. That's a very hard one. I, I, I will actually do it. I, I would actually need to think a little bit about on that one. I don't know, honestly. That's a. That's a very good one. I'm not gonna lie. That's a very good one. So, all righty, folks. So I do have our, I do have our, our, our green onions. So I'm just gonna soak these in a little bit of green, a little bit of cold water, so uh, to get that ready for our garnishing. So that's gonna just help kind of curl, curl up these uh, stri uh, strings for a little bit here. Uh, what else am I gonna add? Oh, a little bit of. We're also gonna crush a little extra. Gonna do a little extra uh, uh, Szechuan chilies if you. If, a little bit more Szechuan chilies here, but uh, sorry, Szechuan peppercorns. So I'm just gonna just do a little bit here. This is I do want this into, into a nice powdered form, so that this is gonna be kind of just a nice sprinkle on top at the end to kind of gar to garnish here. So to add a little bit extra heat as well too. But uh, again, though you you don't have to do it. You can just do you can just finish it off with sesame, and seriously, you'll be uh, you'll be fine as well too. So alrighty, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna keep um, grinding this up. I'm just gonna grind this into almost like a little powder is what you hear. So, no, I'm gonna hunt for good, not hot food. Ooh. Yeah. So yeah. So you can again. You can. Mm. I mean, can you still have garlic and onions though? I know garlic and onions can have a little bit of a, a not like chili spice to it, but that's it's kind of like a very. 
has that like that, that oniony spice to it as well too, right? So, so garlic, ginger, if you can have still have garlic, ginger, onion, uh, honestly, I'd still make this dish. Uh, I just wouldn't add the uh, chili flake, the uh, Szechuan peppercorn, and the, uh, and the, and the pickled chilies. So, uh, and I kind of feel like it would probably still be just as good. But, uh, hold on, Guy Fong. Oh, hold on. I just need to check on our sauce here. I'm actually just going to need to reduce the heat just a little. Uh, it is starting to tighten up really well for us too here, so. So it's, uh, the sauce is tightening up a little bit. I am going to give it a taste and see where we're at here, so. Again, as this kind of sits on the, on the, on the stove, it's going to keep developing more flavor here. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh, that's got a... Oh, that's got a nice kick to it. Oh, that's got a great kick to it. Oh, that's great. Oh, she's good. Oh, that's really good. Oh, that is ready. We're going to let that go. Uh, guys, I'm going to quickly get our stream I'm going to go quickly play our stream about them. Uh, and then we'll get into okay. one pot burger, rice and beans. You know what? Skip, that sounds, that sounds good. I mean, seriously. I mean, I would trade you. I would literally, you, me, and, and Aspie, I would, I, would, I would gladly have some of, some of what you and, you and Aspie are having. So not, get, not getting to lie, by the way, Guy Fong. Guy Fong is going to get the uh, stream about it going again if you want to play. Exclamation mark SR in our chat. Everything was spicy. Ooh. Really? Mm. Is it because your parents didn't you let you have spicy, or did you just couldn't couldn't stand uh, couldn't uh, tolerate spicy just yet? I mean, I could tolerate spice from a very young age, so I mean, uh, so I'm I'm, I'm kind of weird for that. Uh, I'm kind of a little bit of an anomaly in the, in Hong Kong. So uh, most Hong Kongers don't grow up uh, ending uh, being able to eat a lot of spice, but. Uh, but here I am, folks. Just gonna need to add a little bit more um, seasoning to this as well too. So I'm just gonna add a little. So as we're waiting for this battle, oh dang it! Okay, that didn't work. That didn't work out, but that's okay. We'll keep on going. Yeah, I know this is the Olympic Olympiad event. Let's go, keep going, folks. We're gonna try the, try this battle again. If you want to play, exclamation mark SR. Mm -hmm. uh, when was, oh no! Oh, absolutely not. In Hong Kong, we do like some spice, but not like screaming hot spice, so. I mean, and I like screaming hot spice, so I am definitely a bit of an anomaly there, so. so. Anyway, that's, a, that's why I also love, um, that's why maybe I, I like Singaporean cuisine so much, or Malaysian cuisine so much, because it has that kind of good, good amount of spice too, so. All right, guys, well, let's go back to the stove here. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah, yeah. One big thing, if, you, if anyone ever has never been outside of North America and go to Southeast Asia for the first time, yeah, be aware, yeah. Their mild is considered spicy in, uh, in North America. North American spicy is, is Southeast Asian mild. So, yeah, so don't say we didn't warn you. It's, uh, but, you know, there are mild stuff though, so, but... There are things for, for people who don't like spice to enjoy, but uh, but just be aware. So if you ask for spicy, tell them to go easy on you if you're not if you're not used to it. So, all right. Speaking of which, guy, Fong again. Our, our sauce is looking good. We're gonna let it, we're gonna let it uh, we're gonna cook on on low heat for a few seconds. Alrighty. Just gonna also uh, just. Uh, you can hear probably some water uh, going right now here. That's just because we are filling up our water pot. We're gonna be uh, we're gonna make it, we're gonna make some uh, paschetti to top our sauce. Uh, paschetti to top our wow, some paschetti to uh, to uh, go, to serve our noodles with here. So, all right. Oh, cheese Louise. Ah. I don't want to bump my my handle here. There go forks. Uh, is it spicy? Singapore is spicy. Indonesia is a whole new world. Really. Really? Yo, let's go. Basically, with sprinkling some crushed chip red peppers on your spaghetti. Ooh. Seriously? I'm not going to lie. For I didn't actually have, like, crushed chilies with my lasagna until I was probably after, uh, after university. And seriously, once I had it, though, game changer. Absolute game changer. Love it. Yeah. 
seriously, the moment I did that, seriously, I didn't even know how I didn't even realize you could put uh, chili flakes on your, uh, on your, on your pizza until, uh, until that moment. So I know it was kind of one of those weird things, right? But, uh, another one's those, uh, monkey touching the monolith kind of moments. So two here. So a uh, lot, you get a bunch of dishes. Every of them is spicy. Yes. I think in, I think it's, that's the thing as well too, right? Prius. I mean, it's either all spicy in Southeast Asia or not spicy at all in, in like Hong Kong and, uh, or actually, it wouldn't be all spicy in in a place like um, um, Chongqing, in, in in a place like Sichuan, in, in the cities of Sichuan, like Chongqing or um, not Kunming, Chongqing and um, not Changsha. Um, shit. Chongqing and then um, shit. I'm trying to remember what the other the name of that other city in in. Um, in in uh, in Sichuan right now, but uh, yeah. So I mean, uh, yeah. Again, every every place in Asia is slightly different. So I think in probably if, if you have if you are dining with friends in Taipei, then there's going to be a little difference here. So yeah. So oh, it does. Oh, absolutely does. I mean, you're not wrong. It the, the spiciness actually does build up very quickly. So you kind of have again if you if you are like with seasoned spice fats, yeah, you are going to need to. You kind of have to roll with the punches. So uh, so, but I'm sure they'll understand. Macau, not so much though. No, Macau's a little bit more mild. So, I mean, they're they're the Portuguese curry or the pot up is very m mild. So it has a lot more coconut. It's more of a coconutty, spicy, but also kind of has a coconutty to it. Uh, very very high coconut thing. Uh, coconut milk uh, ratio to it. So uh, yeah. Yeah, Macau's actually su su surprisingly a little bit milder. So at least I think uh, only Guangdong is spicy. Everyone is trying to let's bathe in chili. Yes, that is very true. That is very true. Yes, everywhere. Yes, a lot of places in China is uh, like all their food is bathing in chili. So it's Guangdong. Uh, actually, even yeah, we are we are the um, yeah yeah Guangdong's a bit of a. Uh, Guangdong likes to be of a bit of a special case. I mean, and uh, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't say that. Uh, I don't say that uh, to be to, to be controversial, but yeah. So, yeah, Gu uh, Guangdong likes to be Guangdong likes to be special. We definitely take our um, we we definitely take our role as one of the eight great cuisines of China. We we take that role very seriously. All right, guys. Well, I've just salted the water. I'm actually going to go grab my bucatini here. So, actually, do I actually have an open pack of bucatini? Mm. Nope, that's spaghetti. But I don't have bucatini. So, uh, well, once again, guys. You can you can use whatever whatever long pasta you want. So uh, again, hey, once you once you get the recipe, that recipe is yours. So you can uh, do how do it however the hell you want. So. Speaking of which, guys, again, if you just take a look here, so our sauce is still kind of reducing a little bit. So the aromatics are still kind of cooking. So this is looking good. I'm just going to give it another taste here. See, uh, see the status of this. Mm. Mm. God, I took the, took the one with the spoon here. Mmm. Mm. Spices mellowed out a little bit. This is good. Mm. I am going to splash a little bit more vinegar in here, though. Just a little bit of black vinegar. Amount of salt is good. Amount of salt is good. Amount of umami, a little bit of spice is good. It's not overly, it's good spice, but not, 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 not like super spicy, not screaming hot spicy. So, let me give this one more taste here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's good. Mm. Keep this on a low heat, but man, guy, Kong, this is almost perfect. Mm. Oh, that's so good. It is. Yes, you're correct. Mm. Chili and cumin. Oh, dude. Yes. Chili and cumin. Absolutely. You can find chili and cumin everywhere.
chili, cumin, Szechuan peppercorn. Um, what's another one? Silly, chili, Szechuan peppercorns, um, gi well, ginger, garlic, um, cinnamon. Cinnamon's another big one in China. Like in, in, in the mainland? Oh, yeah. Uh, like a lot of cinnamon. A lot of cinnamon playing alongside with chili. Yeah. Yeah. And yes, Cantonese food is all about the freshness. So, again, it's not like I don't appreciate it, but it's just like, I like a little bit more. I like my food to have a little bit, uh, like to be dancing a little bit, right? So has, have a have a dancing partner. So, again, I'm 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 a bit of a. Uh, I guess honestly, I'm not I'm not saying I'm a, I'm 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 the exception, but uh, but I guess I'm gonna say that I am the exception. I am the exception. <laughs> the exception to the exception. <laughs> Sorry. Why am I laughing again? Does anyone know why I'm laughing again? Can someone please tell me why? Have I gone? Have I, have I finally? Have I finally gone bonkers? Yeah, I think I've probably finally gone bonkers. But uh, anyway, so. <laughs> Eat twenty dumplings at a golden dollar side. Oh no! Oh yeah! Oh dude! Here in in Hong Kong? Yeah. Oh no no no! We we can eat dumplings twenty forty at a time. So. I've actually seen my dad eat 40 dumpl uh, forty wontons in one, in one go. So seriously, please, please. We can, we, we Cantos can eat dumplings like the best of them. We just like to savor them. I oh, thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, Guy Fong, we're gonna get ourselves a bowl because, uh, because once this, uh, once the pasta is done, Guy Fong, we are gonna be, uh, we gonna be serving this up. We serve it up. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We serve as a spice. And now here's Wally Williams with the spice report. It's gonna be spicy. Thank you, Wally. <coughs> I don't know what I'm crazy. Uh, do we ever know why you're doing things? At least I hope you do. I mean, especially if I'm cooking, I hope you know what I'm doing. You 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 understand what I'm going, but. Uh, Everything else though, Pfft, no, no, never, 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 never. So, so yes. I mean, I mean, I mean, Pika. I mean, I mean, these days, I mean, you gotta have to be a little crazy to uh, to gotta get through the days. You gotta be a little crazy. You gotta just have to, have to embrace the crazy. So. <clears throat> I think you're crazy. I think you're crazy. I think you're crazy, just like me. Sorry, I can't. I, I can't sing like uh, quite like CeeLo Green, but uh, but y'all know what I mean. So. But hey, at least uh, and, and you know what, Ipika, you know you're, you're not wrong. Seriously, I mean we're we're all on this uh, we're all on this crazy adventure together. So. Uh, so hopefully, and Guy Fong again, 2024. I'm really hoping will be the will be the year we uh, we we uh, make some amazing inroads as a community together. So too. So, and uh, alrighty, folks. So, uh, all right. So our water's coming up to boil here again. I'm I'm, I'm pro I promise you, I'm not actually watching the I'm not watching the pot boil here. So uh, and uh, Guy Fong, we're not gonna take uh, we're not gonna go on break until uh, we're until this the entire cook is complete here. So. The cook is actually, we are getting close to uh, service time here, so folks, uh, bear with us here. So don't go away, the, 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 serv the service is coming up very shortly here, so. All right, just gonna, also just gonna, the uh, pasta will probably be approximately, um, pasta is gonna be ready in about seven minutes here, so I just need to, so the, the bugatini will be ready in about seven minutes. Again, folks, you can you can serve this with whatever the hell you want. So you can you can serve this you can serve this on top of rice if you want as well too. So uh, for also for a vegetarian option, you can also do do tofu, uh, or the traditional uh, is partial pork. So maybe say half pork, and and some uh, and some uh, stir fried eggplant. And seriously, if you do this with eggplant. The sauce of eggplant—it's even better, honestly. So, uh, so, and 
And uh, oh, and speaking of which, guy Fong, again, if, uh, again, Thursday we're doing uh, Ru Rujiamo, uh, and then a th uh, just a quick heads up, we're making Rujiamo on Thursday, uh, and then after that we're watching Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon in the in the Discord, uh, and on Futong in the Discord, uh, and then on Saturday we're making Kimchi. That is going to be at 11, tw uh, 10 a.m. start Mountain, uh, 12 uh, p.m. Eastern start. So, and then we're, uh, Jane Henry and Jay Dorrance will be our guest. And then on Sunday, we're going to take that kimchi and we're going to be making kimchi, kimchi, uh, kimchi. Oh, shoot. What's the word? Like? We're making kimchi pierogies on Sunday. So, so this coming Sunday for, and then uh, on, and then uh, just a quick heads up. Yes, uh, we will also be doing a Super Bowl party on the 11th. So. We're, uh, yes, Guy Fong, we are going to be making my, we're going to be making a Chongqing Firecracker Dry Wing. So that'll be a, uh, and yes, a guest will also be with us. I believe right now I have lined up one. I'm looking to hopefully add a second guest as well too. So, uh, so. all right, but uh, anyway, so we'll do that too. So. All right, Guy Fong, I think uh, water's ready. I added some uh, oil to this. So uh, uh, this is probably enough for one portion. Let's get a second. So. so, I am pretty hungry as well too, Guy Fong. I mean, I, I didn't, I, I kind of didn't have lunch earlier as well too. So I mean, so, so I am just gonna be adding all of this here. So just into the water. This is about a, eh. Let's see what's this here? So, it's about 450 grams. So this is about a pound of pasta. So I'd say probably about, eh, I'd say probably about eight ounces of pasta. But again, so, but once it's cooked, we'll do the kimchi. Ooh, yo, let's go. Brias, do you want to, hey, Brias, if, you, if you're up for it, I mean, uh, you can come join us and make some, uh, you, if you want to come make kimchi with us, uh, we're doing that on sa on Saturday. Oh, shoot, actually. You're like 16 hours ahead of us, aren't you? Right, so. Uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, if you want to cook along with us, uh, exclamation mark kimchi in the chat. Uh, if you don't know, it's so K-I-M-C-H-I. So uh, exclamation mark kimchi. Uh, we're using Manchi's recipe. Uh, and that's go, uh, and we're gonna be making kimchi out of that. So, uh, so, and yes, you don't have to use all six pounds of cabbage. So, I'm probably at most gonna use about three pounds. So, uh. all right, I think our pasta's looking pretty good. Again, our pasta's now fully in, fully submerged in the water. So, again, yeah, now just needs to cook for a few seconds there. Uh, three or four a.m. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, it's ten a. It's ten a.m. for me. So, uh, ten a.m. Because y'all are like still 16 hours ahead of us, right? I mean, Hong Kong's still 16 hours ahead of us. So, uh, yeah, it's 3, so 10 a.m. plus 16. So 10 p.m. Yeah, it's about 2 in the morning. It'll be a Sunday. It'll be a, it'll, it'll be a 2 a.m. on Sunday morning in Singapore. So, yeah. So, anyway, yeah. So, but. Uh, Five, six a.m., yeah. I believe so, yes. Yeah. So that's when the. I think that's during the summer as well, too. I think, well, no. I know, you're, well, no, no. Clock spring four as well, too, right? So. Oh, geez. So. It's 14 hours in the summer and then 16 in the winter, I think, too. So. Honestly, I can't remember. Honestly, Guy Fong, I don't even remember, like, like the like things, too. So 10 a.m. would be like 12. Sorry, 12 midnight or something. 12 midnight in Hong Kong in, in, during the summer, so. Yeah, just need to get some kimchi. No, that's okay, you know what I, but, but hey, folks, if you wanna, if you, if you wanna, if you wanna, if you wanna make kimchi with uh, myself and Jane Henry, uh, and Jay Dorrance, uh, and yes, folks, the, uh, what's it called? Uh, oh, shoot. Discord audio will also be open, so uh, I will have a channel point redemption available, so that if you do have any questions, you can uh, just, uh, you can just hop in. So, uh, so, and also you can also turn on your camera so that you can show us how, how you're doing with yours, uh, your, uh, uh, with your, uh, with your kimchi too. So, uh. all right, guys. Look at this. This is a lucky look at. Hey, Silver Gem, good to see you. Not one. No young Koreans make them. I can see that though. I mean, uh, it does take time to make a lot of kimchi. Silver Gem, how was your day today? Good to see you, my friend. Also. What's your favorite? What, what's your favorite topping for Pescetti? Exclamation mark eight one eight. So again, good to see you. Welcome in, my friend. Yeah, so, so we're cooking some. Uh, we're just cooking some. Um, 
Well, this isn't exactly bruschetti. This is more uh, like bucatini, but yeah, you know what I mean. So I mean, hey, potato, 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 potato. Oh, I wish I could. Seriously, I mean, you're like, Skip, you're literally like the seventh person to, seven millionth person to ask. I wish I could, but uh, maybe if an energy company, energy drink company wants to partner with me and make a, uh, like an Asian flavored one, maybe then I, then maybe, uh, then maybe you can have a piece of my energy. So, uh, so. although honestly, now I kind of think about it though, Guy Fong. If I were to have an energy drink flavor, what would I, what, what would the flavor be? Guy Fong, what would you, what, what, if, if we were to have a Guy Fong flavored energy drink, what, what would we choose? My personal choice would be mango. Ma like a, like a, like a, like a mango coconut flavor? Although I don't know that anyone actually likes mango. Like, like not everybody likes coconut though. That's the thing. And, and artificial coconut doesn't also taste, uh, artificial coconut doesn't taste very good though. Then again, so does an artificial mango, but anyway, so. Ginger mango, ooh, ginger mango would be good. I do like that idea. Ginger mango would be a good one. Yeah. Or chili mango. Chili mango would be a good one. Or it could be milk tea flavored to kind of match the Canadian. Super love coconut, ooh. Have you had like a coconut ex like like fake a coconut extract though, Alexa? Oh, I've had it. Been there, done that, never again. I'm either making my own damn damn extract or just using coconut milk. No, 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 no. Yeah, fake or coconut extract, never again. So, milk tea flavored. Oh yeah. Oh, a milk tea flavored energy drink. Would y'all buy that? I don't know if anyone would buy it, but. Uh, it would definitely be very emblematic of me and the Guy Fong, so. Uh, it would actually have to taste like milk tea, though. I mean, I. I Dong Kwai energy drink. Dong Kwai? Wow. I don't even. I, I'm just remember, trying to remember what Dong Kwai actually tastes like now. Dang it. Keep a fellow just but entry level Italians had this meat sauce for meatballs. Italian sausage was really good. Ooh, nice. That's a nice. That sounds like a that sounds like a great. That sounds like a great topping. No matter what though. I mean, hey. Honestly, I mean, I I feel like when it comes to and again, guy phone, I mean when it comes to spaghetti, honestly, I mean, you can topple with anything you want. I mean, and you really can't go wrong. Except chocolate. Please don't top your uh, spaghetti with chocolate. I mean, that would just be weird. Unless you were going for like chocolate spaghetti or mole spaghetti or something like that. I, I, I don't know. I'm sure there's someone who out there probably eats chocolate, probably does chocolate and chocolate and spaghetti, but uh, you know what I mean? Hey, I mean, I'm not one of those people, so I mean, uh, so. You may think I'm crazy, but I'm not nuts. <laughs> You know what, speaking of Dong Kwai, you know what, one of my favorite uh, juices that isn't fruit, sugar cane. Oh, oh my god. Yo, if you've never, Guy Fong, huge thing. If you ever go to Southeast Asia, get some sugar cane juice. Fresh sugar cane juice. It's literally like sugar water, but with an earthy flavor on it. Oh, it's so good. Slightly earthy, but it's very, very sweet. Nice and clear. And then cross it with some coconut water. Oh, oh. Heaven in a glass. Or oh, heaven in a bag. Or however the hell they serve it. I don't know. Seriously. But uh, anyway, so. Huge thing. But uh, anyway, Guy Fong. I'm just taking a look at again, Guy Fong. Again, our Pescetti is just a few minutes. Yo, no. Sugar cane juice. So, yo, okay. So, my dad actually needs some uh, soy sauce is what you Yo, really? Sugar cane with two slices of lemon? Oh, let's go. Uh, also, Winsing, good to see you. Welcome in. How are you doing, my friend? So, uh, so that was Dad, by the way, everybody. So, uh, Dad's here. So, so he'll be back sometime during the new year, by the way. When we, uh, so, so when we when we do, uh, oh, uh, by the way, Guy Fong. Also, uh, I am actually uh, planning my lunar New Year streams right now. Uh, 
I believe we are, I'm going to try to stream on the 24th, uh, which is February 24th, which is going to be the 15th day of New Year, New Year. And we are going to do a, um, Tungyuan battle. We're going to do Tungyuan battle. Uh, we're going to do a 15th day uh, Tungyuan battle. So if you want to come in uh, again, yes, you'll, once again, it will be open. So uh, a guest will be with us. Mommy very likely will be with us. Uh, it is a Saturday night, by the way. So uh, you are welcome to join us to make some Tungyuan. Uh, and hopefully, I mean, maybe some locals will do that. My week is actually not, bad. My week's actually not doing too badly here. So today was an um, interesting day. So again, I'm not saying... A little sleep deprived. I didn't. I didn't sleep very well last night. But you know what? Hey, I'm. I'm actually doing well. Wednesday. How? How, how was? How, how was? How was your day? What did you get up to, by the way? Too. So good to see you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sugar King is the world's most expensive lemon. Fifty cents a slice of lemon. Wow. I mean, where are they getting those lemons from? A Mouthy Coast. Oh. Uh, by the way, yes, uh, Amal uh, Italian Amalfi lemons are very expensive. So, uh, actually, now that all joking aside, I think that might actually be pretty damn expensive. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I think our bucatini is looking pretty good here, so I don't want to overcook it, but uh, ooh. I also don't want crunchy stuff as well, too. So I don't want crunchy noodles, but I do want, I also don't want, like, uh, limp, soft-ass noodles as well, too, here. So these are supposed to be cooking for seven minutes, so I think that we are way over seven minutes here right now. So, all right, guys, hold on a second. Let me get that here. All right. I did say we're not going to take any, uh, 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 we're not going to take any breaks until, until this is done here, which is, uh, which is okay. I think I think this is looking good here. So I'm actually gonna take a quick peek here. So right. let's see if this guy sticks here. So you know, oh, well, I, could, I probably should just bite into it and just taste it. John, seriously, just taste it. Mm. Mm. Nope, still a little hard. All right, Guy Phone. This is probably gonna be another three minutes out. So Guy Phone, we're gonna take a quick little. We're going to take a quick little three-minute uh, three breather. When we come back, we're going to plate this up. <laughs> nice. What did you do? Uh, Wincing, tell me a little bit during the chat in the chat during the break here. So we'll talk a little bit about uh, second. Wait, hold on. Hold on a second. We're going to take a quick little break. We'll come back in about three minutes. Again, I promise you, it's just going to be the uh, the noodles are just cooking, so you're not really missing much here. So again, so all right, folks, bear with us. We'll be back in about 23 minutes. But why is that not? Uh, anyway, uh, that's probably that, that's probably an 18 plus. That, that's a the, the 18 yes. plus discussion. We're not what's the safe word there, Michelle. We're not what's the safe word. Well, uh, but anyway, we'll talk. Well, well, we, we can definitely talk about that more on that on the table after dark. Boom, chicka wat wat. But that's uh, but that's another. Perfectly juicy. Oh my god, guys. This this is definitely <laughs>
Actually, surprisingly, really good. Problems of sweating, mom's spaghetti. But he forgets the words and up, oh, snap back to reality. Hopes there's no gravity. Da, 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 da. Okay. Sorry, I don't remember all the lyrics for, uh, from the song from Eight Mile here. So. I'm gonna turn the stream around. Turn the stream around. Turn the
Microphone muted. Well, that would really help as well too. So I mean, before I get all, uh, all, um, before I get all, um, all inspirational and everything, I probably should have unmuted myself as well too. Uh, but anyway, guy phone, welcome back. Uh, so uh, we were just, uh, just checking. Uh, we were just getting everything together. So, uh, so we just drained our spaghetti so, or our bucatini. So that is now ready to go. So we are gonna, so we're gonna get that uh, go, uh, going. So, so that's good. So we just need to get that. Um, so we're just gonna give the, we're gonna give our noodles a quick little toss in some. Uh, uh, well, well, we're gonna give it a, we're gonna kind of combine them together using a little bit of a, well, a little quick stir fry here. So I gotta make it together. So kind of like how how they do it and a, how kind of how they would do it, um, how they would uh, kind of combine the spaghetti at a. Uh, at a at an Italian restaurant here. So again, this is a again we are using a Chinese ingredient, but yes, we are kind of serving paschetti in a uh, almost like an Italian style here. So uh, and yes, Guy Fong, I know, I know. I mean, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure for some Italians, I mean, that's this this dish is probably all going to make your Nona cry. But uh, you know what? Honestly, I mean, like I said, I mean, hashtag not authentic, everybody. So this isn't supposed to be authentic. So uh, this is a uh, so. So uh, sorry to uh, sorry to your uh, Nona in, in advance, but uh, yeah, this ain't uh, this ain't as well too. But again, th uh, Mel, thank you very much <laughs> for letting me know that I'm I'm muted. So sooner rather than later, I knew it was gonna happen, but you know, hey, it is what it is. So all right, so our our pass is looking good. So again, uh, again, our, oh hold on, guys, before we do that though, so also gonna grab a couple sprigs of cilantro while I'm while I'm at it. So uh, get some get some gar get our garnish ready to go. So, I'm just gonna warm up my wa uh, I'm just gonna warm my wa uh, warm up my walk. Uh, so as we as we're doing that though, guy, I'm just gonna pick a few leaves of cilantro. So some, some, some relatively nice leaves of cilantro, and then the rest of this we're just gonna give it a chop. Uh, you don't have to do this if you don't want. If you if you don't want cilantro on top, you don't have to. Just use parsley or whatever you the hell you, whatever herb you want. So you can just do. Uh, oh, you can use. You, you can just do. You can do. You, you can do. Um, what's it called? You can do green onions. We can do whatever you want as well do here. So. All right, guys. Hold on a second. Just gonna also quickly set up our plating here, so folks, you can see how the uh, how the plate is going here. So, all right, and uh, guys, actually, before we cook, I can I do see our stream raider battles ready to go. Let's actually get the let's get the stream raider battle going first before we start here. So, folks, let me just uh, again once, the, once this is a fully cooked. Uh, I mean, seriously, this is this is gonna be a very this is gonna be a quick one here. So again, so let me just get the uh, battle going first, and then after that, so then we'll have no interruptions uh, before we start eating here. So. Alrighty. Okay. Where are we looking at here, guy? We are looking pretty good here, guy. Fung. So let's see if we we can get a victory before we start cooking here. Well, before we start uh, getting this paschetti going here. So I think we're looking pretty good here. Mm, okay. Oh, almost there. Just have a couple more of these guys to knock out. And hey, we got it. We got through. Thank you very much, everybody. Let's go. Uh, puzzles. Let's get you some gold. Thank you. And Ilya. Good to see you. Welcome in. Thank you so much for those units. Let's keep them going. If you want to play, exclamation mark SR. All right, we got a silver chest coming up. And uh, okay, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. All right, silver chest. Let's go here. Do, 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 do. Oh, hot dish warrior. Wow, no, the hot dish. Actually, I haven't seen her. I haven't seen Devin in a while as well too. But uh, anyway, all right. Okay, battle's done. Again, folks, if you want to join in, exclamation. No worries. Okay, hey, we did it. So we we got it. We we got it. We got the vic. We got the dub. Hey, you know what? I am uh, I am in a very. We are we're in a we're in a good place. Go, guy, Bob. All right. So let's start with our. Oh, our walk actually was actually starting to warm up as we as we're cooking here. So just gonna get a little bit of sauce. Also, just gonna throw in a little bit of pasta. Gonna stir fry. <coughs> Just a little bit of water. Uh, this might be a little bit too much water, but that's okay. Just gonna use some chopsticks. Gonna kind of combine this together. Just gonna combine them together. So we've actually made this. So this is for about eight. So this is about. I think this is probably around half the pasta we have. So I'm just gonna give this give this a quick little combine. This is exactly how I, how they taught me how to do this at the at the the, the one of the Italian restaurants I used to work at. But uh, also just gonna 
Finish off with a little bit of, of black vinegar. Kill the heat. Let that kind of cook up for seconds. And you know, I'm just gonna do a little bit more here. And just gonna add in a little bit of everything here. A little bit of everything, we should be fine. So a little bit of sauce, a little stir. Quick toss. Make sure the beat, make sure the meat and everything is combined together. Well, as uh, well as combined as it's going to be, but you know, hey, whatever. But hey, I mean, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, seriously, I mean, this meal is. You could probably get uh, something like this at your at your local restaurant for like, at your local at, at Italian at, Italian restaurant for about. 15, 20 bucks. So anyway, oh, did I forget? To, oh, geez, Louise, I forgot to uh, turn the camera. Mm. We'll do this again in a little bit. We'll do this again in a little bit here, folks. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. All right. So we're good. Let's get this over to the the counter. All right. Fine. I'm gonna see if I can actually do the. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can do the twist here. So. All right, hold on, folks. This is one of the worst parts of serving noodles, is the twist. It's the kind of the twisted to kind of just make it under the top. Top, this is something I have never been able to master. So, uh, even with chopsticks or with the thing. Ah, oh, geez, we see. No, that's okay, Guy Fong. We got another shot at this a little later, so don't worry about it. So, we'll try this again another time. Alrighty. There it is. Look at that. All right. Look at that. Oh, hold on. We will give it a quick wipe, though. Let's give it a quick wipe. So a little bit of, a little bit of that. All right. So, kick a finish of um. A little finish of our Sasha peppercorns. A little bit of cilantro. One leaf. Save that up. Turn off the light. And sprinkle of chili. Sprinkle a little chili to a little final bit of heat. And then finally, just a quick final hit of black vinegar. And there it is, Guy Fong. Look at that. From one, making, from one ingredient, one, starting with one ingredient, we have made Szechuan, pes Szechuan Peschetti, or Fish Fragrant Peschetti. So, uh, and yes, Guy Fong, recipe will be in the Discord a little bit later. And uh, Guy Fong, I will also remember to start, I will also... Uh, Bang out a quick reel about this as well. Too. well I will try to bang out a quick reel for the, uh, uh, for the, uh, for the, uh, for the Instagrams and not the Instagrams. Um, shoot, for the for the YouTubes and the and, and the TikToks as well too. So uh, so so again, this is uh, this does take a little bit of time to make. A lot probably a lot longer than than your standard TikTok recipe. But seriously, damn, seriously, Guy Fong, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, this is <laughs> this is uh, this is definitely something that's uh, worth uh, worth spending a little bit of time with. Uh, and yes, you can make this in your, you can make this in your, uh, what's it called? Um, you can, you can make this with your, um, what's it called? Uh, you can, you can make this with your, um, your uh, slow cooker. So you can do this in the slow cooker if you want to get all the ingredients, like stir fry all the ingredients, all your aromatics. Um, and then just slap it all in, in with the beet, uh, with some uh, stir fried pork. And then let it simmer all day uh, on your slow cooker. And then uh, cook up some spaghetti. And you're seriously, Kai Fong, you can have a you can have an amazing dinner uh, ready to go for you. So, uh, but again, Kai Fong, like I said, I mean, you can uh, once you have the recipe. Uh, and again, the recipe will be in the Discord a little bit later. So, uh, and yes, I will be uh, I'll be uh, kind of chopping up some of the, uh, these into uh, into into pieces. Uh, well, this uh, the the bot into some pieces so that we can uh, we can send some. Uh, we can build a little bit of a, little bit of a, um, little bit of a recipe TikTok. So uh, anyway, so 
Uh, and again, Guy Fawkes, like I said, I mean, uh, I, I've only recently started kind of, um, kind of a decide, um, kind of working on expanding. So, uh, so, and like I said, Guy Fawkes, it'll be, uh, it's a bit of a work in progress. But, uh, but Guy Fawkes, I know you always eat with your eyes first. But uh, Guy Fawkes, what are we thinking here? What are we thinking? I mean, is this a smash or is this a pass? What are we thinking here? Just from for, just from looks alone, what are we thinking? Are we smashing or are we passing this? Because uh, Guy Fong, enjoy the view because uh, this is this is uh, I am definitely going to be smashing this in a few seconds here. So, <laughs> there we go. We got things. Gonna also make sure. All right, maybe one more photo here. One more photo is not going to kill us. Smash it! Oh yeah. So. Let's get the uh, dragon in the uh, dragon in the photo. Okay, let's go, guys. Well, ooh, okay, let's get full. All right, perfect. Okay, all right, let's go. Okay, let's see. It's gonna move the uh, camera off for just a little bit here. Oh, need to switch over the switch over my head uh, headset. Well too. Ooh, let's take a look. Okay. All right. Hold on a second, folks. Sky Foam's gonna go in a second. It's gonna, gonna move the camera just down just a little bit so y'all can see the, uh, can all see this beautiful dish coming up here. Alrighty. Okay. Let's go. Okay. No worries. Hey, Lexa, take care of yourself, my friend. Thank you so much. So, uh, but uh, ooh. And Guy Foam, again. Now, if you have any questions. Uh, about how you uh, how this dish is gonna happen. L let me taste it, and then after that, if you have any questions about what uh, what you can do to make this for yourself, uh, either on the cheap or on anything else. Uh, seriously, I mean, uh, help but uh, again, Lexa, have a good night. Thank you for thank you for coming by. All right, let's go. All right. Oh, oh this. Okay, first first thing you're gonna say, the aroma is fantastic. The aroma is absolutely quite fantastic. It's a lot of aromatics, so I can smell a lot of aromatics here. So that's so the aromatics is actually doing its job. So that's 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 probably the best part. But uh, now it's time for the taste here. So mm. Mm. Not super spicy. Mm. It's got a good heat. It's got a good heat to it. But it's not like. Oh, never mind. I got the. I got the numbing. Mm. Mm. There's a little subtle sweetness. A little slight slow sweetness. Good savory, so a lot of so, so, good salt. Mm. Mm. The umami and the bean paste is right. It's still coming through. Mm. And the soy and everything, and the and the black vinegar. Is, the, the black vinegar is giving me. It's kind of lightening up some of the richness. Mm. It's a lot of flavors all at once, mm. but somehow it works. Some of this really, really worked out really well. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, Gaffon, this is actually really good. Mm. Mm. Wow. Wow. Woo. Mm. 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 iPhone. Don't mind me, iPhone. I'm just having my we're just doing a little bit of a 
noodle mukbang here right now. Mm. During the taste, one thing I also do want to notice, that during the taste, mm, mm, earlier during the cook, mm, there was some, there was some ginger that was, I could still taste a few pieces of ginger here and there. Mm. I don't think that's actually, it doesn't really, I don't really mind it, but eh. Mm. Mm. But if you are sensitive to ginger, if you if your teeth or your or your palate is actually really sensitive to ginger, make sure you chop it really really fine. So, mm. or cook it up really well. But uh, mm. Mm. I gotta say, this is actually really fantastic. Mm. I was actually thinking of making like a second portion for lunch, but I think I might actually end up eating the whole thing. So, <laughs> mm. Mm. somehow something. No, 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 no. Something that about this bowl just seems so right. Mm -hmm. And Kai Fong, if you want to try this recipe, mm, I'll be writing up literally once we're once I've actually had got a bite, we're gonna make our we're gonna make our second portion, and then we're gonna write it up. Mm. Once again, folks, if you're just coming and welcome, man. Oh my God, this I'm just uh, stuffing my face with such this beautiful bowl of noodles. Right, this bowl, beautiful bowl of right now. Mm. I just felt so smooth because mm. I'm eating a lot of spaghetti, but. Uh, I'm eating a lot of the paschetti, but not getting a lot of the uh, the meat sauce. Mm. I'm sorry, Guy Fong, if I can't say anything, but mm. Mm. oh man, I really wish you can try this right now, Guy mm. Fong. I really wish you could smell and taste this. Mm. The only taste of it was a thing, but this is fantastic. Wow. I mm. one more scoop. Mm. Wow, we did it, guy Fong. Look at that. Mm. We cleaned the bowl. <laughs> Let's go, guy Fong. Let's go. Mm. Seriously, if I could eat the whole thing, seriously, this is a good recipe, folks. Mm. But hey, just because I say it's a good recipe doesn't mean uh, it'll work for you. So, then you know what? That's okay. So, but hey, guy Fong. When we read the recipe, mm, when you get it, please. Mm. Adjust it to your taste. Mm. What well, if you want to kind of do a little bit less spice? If you want to keep, skip the sauce, so uh, if you want to skip the oyster sauce, a little less vinegar, a little bit more vinegar. I mean, either way though, Guy Fong, hey, you really, really can't go wrong with this here. So, all right. Oh, speaking of which, Guy Fong, like uh, I do want to cook up our, our other portion here. So, before uh, I might actually end up eating the whole thing, but you know what, hey. If I end up eating the whole thing for dinner, seriously, I mean, uh, eating two people's portion, seriously, I don't really mind, so, because it is, at, this, this dish is actually this good, so.
just gonna quick, I'm just gonna flip the wok. Give it a quick grind, get some of the crap off. Alrighty. Alrighty, we got the wok again. Alright, let's get that be let's get that bad boy heating up again. And we'll just do the uh, we'll just do this we'll, we'll just the we'll just do the wok toss here again. Uh, Y'all saw the plate. Y'all saw the plating. So again, I don't think mm, I don't think I need to redo this again. Wow. Okay. No. I mean. Okay. Well, I mean, <laughs> I I'm not saying this because I, I I love it so much, but but I fucking love this so much. So this is actually fantastic. So. All right. So just gonna need to just get a little bit of hot. Just get our walk hot again, and then we'll be able to get everything together here. So so, and just. Uh, Mostly this uh, this last part is just to uh, just kind of just to, well clean it up as we'll do here. So, <sighs> but uh, once again, folks, if you're just coming in, welcome in. Uh, that will be a uh, <sighs> Szechuan Paschetti, folks. So I feel like this is probably going to be the uh, if, uh, again. I mean, you, you never know, but uh, I mean, damn, this is a, this is a damn hell of a good recipe. I'm really hoping this. Uh, uh, again, no matter what, though, Guy Fong, once you get the recipe, seriously, I really hope you will try it. But anyway, so. But hey, Guy Fong, how are you? How are we holding up? How are we holding up right now? So, uh, hoping y'all having a uh, fantastic evening so far. So again, it's. Uh, I gotta say, we've we've got a damn good recipe going on here. So, uh, and, uh, I'm just I'm just redoing this. Ah, uh, uh, spaghetti sliders? Is it kind of like um? Is it kind of like ramen burgers? Are they kind of like ramen burgers? I've never really heard of them, but uh, if they're like ramen burgers, then I guess I have. I mean, this would be a good ramen. Uh, this would be a good. Seriously, Guy Funk, now that I think about it, you know what else this would be good for? You just made it up. Spaghetti sliders. Hmm. I mean, I mean, you probably might make a Nona. You might make an Italian Nona cry, but uh, but you know what? Hey, I'm down with that. So, all right, just gonna let that kind of heat up for a few seconds. I am gonna. I'm just gonna flip our bowl. Just gonna. We're just gonna do this again here because this is a. This dish is so nice. We're gonna do it twice. <laughs> Alrighty. Hold on. Alright. Alrighty. Hold on. Ooh, that bomb. Just like that. Give it a quick, uh, just give it a quick, quick tossy toss. Let it, uh, let the sauce kind of combine with the noodles. Sauce combined with the nudes. And then uh, we'll put it on the plate. We're going to try that, uh, all right, guys. Well, hold on. Just gonna... Both of these items, are, uh, both of these items are hot, so it just needs to. Like, the noodles just need to kind of soak up just a little bit here. But uh, all right, I didn't get it on the tongs this time. My old friend Malcolm actually could do this. Uh, my old friend Malkies can actually do this. Uh, do this on tongs, but uh, I know I've done it before with 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 uh, very thin plating chop. Uh, with plate uh, with a uh, thin plating. Heating tweezers. All right. All right. Let's give this one. Let's give this one more try here, folks. Okay. Uh, I am of nothing persistent, guy. Phone. Oh, hold on, folks. I'm just gonna also get the uh, get the camera angle right so that it's at a, at a nice, perfect angle. So again, bear with me a second. So. All right. Here we go. Although now that I think about it, honestly, I think I think there's actually some certain place where they actually will eat um, eat noodles with bread. So I mean, uh, so anyway, so what was it? I think it was, what was it? I, has anyone ever seen a um? Actually, hold up. Oh, the bowl is not actually actually the bowl is actually super wet here. So I'm actually just gonna gonna give the bowl a quick wipe. All right, I think we're actually looking pretty good here. Actually, we're actually looking really good. okay. Okay, I'm not kidding, Guy Fong. I think we might actually. I think we might have it here this time. So, so. 
Once again, Steve, I know if you're watching, you're probably be like, oh, John, you're just driving me crazy right now. But uh, I love you, Steve. I love you, Chef Steve. <laughs> yes. All right. Hold on. Ah, you can see Guy Fong. All right, that's okay. Just gonna do the. Uh, just gonna do this again. Just gonna gonna give this a twist. So, or Bucatini. I'm not blaming anyone but myself, but uh, you know what, Guy Fong. So, you know, hey, we tried. We tried. We tried, Guy Fong. We tried. All right, Guy Fong, hold on. Ah, just use, ah no, no, just stay with one angle, John. Stay with one angle. That's okay. Finish it off with a streak of Szechuan peppers. Top with some chili. And there it is. It's uh, marginally better from last time, but you know, hey, hi Fong, I'm not. Uh, I'm not gonna be. Uh, I'm not gonna be super, super picky about this one here. But, uh, but there it is, Guy Fong. Ooh. Let's give it a quick little. Quick a couple wipes here on some of the uh, things, and uh, yeah, one of these days, guys, I'll probably get it right, but uh, but there it is, look at that, sish, S oh, hold on, there we go, just not trying to make you sick or anything like that, so. but yeah, look at that, guy, Fong. Szechuan, Szechuan's Paschetti, so, uh, oh, I can still smell the, uh, Mm, the uh, fr the fresh Szechuan peppercorns, mm, just something about that just smells absolutely wonderful here. But uh, but yeah, there it is, Guy Fong. Wow, I mean, uh, that is that is a uh, yes. Oh yes, I do. I will actually. I, I actually do I have a clip of that. I think I, I I yes, I think I do have a clip of that as well too. So I do have the clip from the earlier as well too. So I should I should be fine with that. So at least I think so. Anyway, so. so. I kind of been uh, kind of uh, falling. Um, I haven't been. I will probably just go watch back of the uh, the vod a little bit later to, to, to clip it all up. But uh, but yeah, guy, fall. You know, let me just go. Let me. Uh, you know, mind about. I don't know if I'll just. Uh, I will actually grab a bite here as well too because uh, this actually just looks so damn good. I'm sorry, this just looks so damn good. I I, I really feel like I need to take a bite here. So uh, so let me just uh, get a. Let me just get. A, let me just get a bite of this here because. Uh, sorry, guy, fall. So no worries. But. Uh, Oh yeah, give us a mix. Well, I'm just gonna get a little bit of everything in here. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, guy. Fall. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Boom! Let's go. Mm. That is, mm. oh my god, die fall. Not getting here. That is actually pretty good. Mm. Mm. That is good. Mm. I gotta say, that is actually fantastic. So. Mm. There you go. But, but again, like I said, Kaifal, I would have. I'd be remiss. I'd be remiss if you didn't try this. But uh, but that's just me, though. So, But Kaifal, like I said, I mean, this is our very first one. So, this is our very first one, honestly. And uh, this is our first one. And honestly, you guys, uh, Kaifal, I, I have to say, this one ingredient uh, th uh, Tuesday. It's, it's pretty good. I, I, I really hope this idea will take off. Uh, so, but again, Guy Fong, like I said, if you want to, if you do want to try the recipe, uh, the recipe will be in our Discord a little bit later. Um, you can, uh, you'll be able to download it uh, off of our dis, um, off of our Discord uh, recipe book in our Discord. Uh, that will be available probably in about an hour. And hopefully, I, I might not get to it tonight, but again, hopefully by Thursday, I'm hoping by Thursday morning. Uh, the recipe will be available. So I'm kind of thinking maybe that's probably when I'll post, probably that'll be my weekly video. Um, 
that's probably going to be my uh, my weekly posting date uh, is going to be Thursdays. So we'll probably post on Thursdays. I feel like that's probably Thursday is a good day because on Friday most people are thinking about going out for dinner. But if you are if you see the recipe on a Thursday, I feel like it would probably be better because you will you'll you'll probably be thinking of of, of next week. Or you're, you're probably thinking of something quick for, for Thursday night. Or am I or am I on the wrong track here? So okay, fine, again, correct me on that one. So maybe we post our, our, our one ingredient, so the result of our one ingredient, uh, rest, uh, one ingredient uh, Tuesday quote unquote recap on Thursday. So that, uh, by, by, so that if, Honestly, guy, phone. I, I, again, I'm not. I'm. I'm not familiar with uh, again numbers and all these kind of things. It's, it's not my, my my forte. So, but you know, let's try Thursday first. Let's try out Thursdays, um, and then we'll we'll go from there. If they if it ends up being more better on a Wednesday or something like that, we'll do that. Uh, but again, we'll we'll, we'll start slow. Uh, and again, I don't. I I do want to. I, I do want to get. Uh, I I want to get as much as uh, much as we can quickly. But at the same time, honestly, I know that rushing is not going to get, uh, rushing is just only going to burn us out. And, well, I mean, we don't want to do that as well, too, right? We, we absolutely do not want to do that. So, and, and uh, that's only going to cause bad things to happen as well, too. But, uh, but yeah, but uh, again, Guy Fong, I mean, uh, I will be, uh, I'm, I'm going to probably capture all my, all my clips and everything. Uh, that will be, and then I'll probably uh, end up, uh, so I'll probably get those edited probably tomorrow night. So probably tomorrow night, so. Over the course of the day tomorrow, I'll probably edit up, and it'll probably and the and the uh, recipe for this uh, Szechuan Paschetti will be available hopefully by Thursday. So, but uh, we'll try it out. Uh, we'll we'll try Thursdays uh, on, uh, and yes, I will be posting on TikTok and also on YouTube. So if you haven't followed me on both of those, uh, those will be available there, um, and also on uh, Instagram as well too. So Instagram will also be a big thing. So I am actually going to make the, it available on all three platforms. So honestly. Honestly, I don't even know how we're gonna do like like exclusive content for all these other uh, all these other platforms right now. But uh, like I said, we'll, we'll we'll figure that out. I'm sure we'll, I'm sure we'll do uh, as we do more of these. Uh, we'll become a little bit more. Uh, we'll be more. We'll, we'll be more proficient as as to what the uh, what the people want of that one here. But you know, at the end of the day, Guy Fong, my my major my major concern is. I want you. I want you to put Asia in your mouth. So that's a big thing. I don't want to worry about any. I, I don't want to worry about anything else. Uh, honestly, as long as you do put, put some Asia in your mouth, seriously, my job is done. So, whoa, okay. And uh, speaking of which, Guy Fong, I think we we do have about a few more seconds into our last battle here. So, Guy Fong, uh, let's go get this battle. Uh, let's go get this battle, and then after that, we're going to uh, go find someone to. Uh, I do have a fair bit of work, so Guy Fong, we are going to, uh, I am going to, uh, uh, we're going to go find someone to say hi to in a few minutes here, so, uh, uh, Guy Fong, I am always up for, uh, I'm always up for suggestions, so if you do, uh, if you do see anyone we should say hi to, uh, please, 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 of course, uh, mm -hmm. oh, Mel, I'm actually super excited for this one, it's true, so, uh, please try to, uh, uh, please try to find, uh, again, if you are suggesting, uh, my one suggestion, uh, my one request is, please, please, please. Uh, wait, Nasty's on? Wait, McFuffle, Nasty's on right now? Yo, let's go. Um, where, where is he? 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 Where is he at? Where is he at? I'm still trying to find where. Uh, okay. Oh, Nasty's on. I, I, I do see Nasty. Actually, where's Andrew Cooks? I have not seen Andrew Cooks on for the absolute longest time. So. Uh, is he? Wait, hold on. Mel, is, is Andrew finishing right now? I see he's plating. Hold on, let me see. Secret Square in Miracle Mall. Okay. Hmm. He's been going on for about two hours as well, too. So, uh, Nasty, I know, probably will be going on for a while. So, let's see. Where is he at? Uh. Nasty probably will be on for a while. Nasty's doing chili and creme brulee. Yeah, so please, yeah. Uh, you know, what? I'm 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 down with either one. Uh, so Guy Fong, we're gonna play our stream battle. Uh, if you want, 
OK, so, so Andrew Cooks is finishing. OK, so Guy Fawkes, we'll, we'll, so he's finishing. So it looks like I guess, I guess we'll probably go for uh, uh, McFuffle Nasty in a few moments here. So uh, Guy Fawkes, again, thank you so, um, again. Please work better with us. We're going to get our stream rate going. Uh, and then after that, we're going to get uh, everything together here. So yeah, honestly, yeah, he's just finishing up now. So I mean, uh, yeah, Fox and uh, Andrew and Fox are just finishing up right now. So yeah, so yeah, so he's uh, they're probably going to be eating very shortly here. So uh, yeah, today was a and guy phone tonight. Uh, Tuesday nights, I'm going to try. Uh, uh, I am going to try to keep them as short as possible. So I mean, so again, under four hours uh, on a Tuesday night, uh, mostly because I do want to make make. Make sure I have enough energy to uh, do the uh, after work as well too. So I do. I do want to. I do want to try to get as much of the, uh, capture all the clips before I start doing editing tomorrow. But uh, uh, but anyway, we'll uh, talk more about that as we go along here. So okay. Oop, looks like, looks like we got the victory. Thank you very much, everybody. Um, oh, Ilya comes in first. I think puzzles Amelia. Uh, I did give you prizes earlier, so I'm gonna spread the love around. Um, uh, sponge, dissolutionist. And I believe Wei Flan is a is a real person. So I'm say I'm gonna give that to Wei here. So where's Wei Flan? Wait, come on. There you go. So I'm gonna give you a prize. Eyes here. Thank you so much, everybody. So Sponge, Dissolutionist, and Wei Flan. Thank you so much for the, uh, for your uh, for your units. Uh, Guy Fong. I think with, that's why we'll, we'll probably gonna stop the stream raiders for the, uh, for this evening here. So we'll do that. Uh, I guess we'll probably go say hi to Nasty. Probably. Oh, Nasty's going to be on for a while here. It looks like he's actually just getting uh, his chili and creme brulee, uh, creme brulee going right now. So, uh, so yeah. So, haven't seen him ever. I actually haven't seen him on in a while. So, uh, all right. So, I guess uh, I guess we're going to go say, well, I guess we're going to go say hi to uh, McFuffle Nasty here then. So, uh, ooh, I think, ooh, he's making some ch nice chili here. So, uh, all right. Hold on, uh, guy phone. Just give me a second. I'm just going to quickly uh, adjust our. Uh, I'm going to try to do a. Uh, what's it called? Um, I'm going to do some uh, new raid ca uh, raid calls every uh, call here. So, uh, okay. Okay, there you go. Okay, perfect. So, all right, Guy Fong, there you go. Thank you very much. All right, so Guy Fong, we're going to go say hi to McFuffle Nasty. So, uh, all right, with that said in mind, Guy Fong, if I can get, uh, if Mods of MMA, can I get in? Exclamation mark raid call in the chat. Uh, we are going to uh, spread some love to my good friend uh, McFuffle Nasty. I haven't seen him on in a long. I haven't seen him on in a in a very very hot minute. So uh, Guy Fong, let's go see what he's cooking up. He's making some chili with honey cornbread, lemon creme brulee, and some more overnight oats. That guy loves his overnight oats. Seriously, I swear. I swear that guy absolutely loves his overnight oats. But. Uh, so, I mean, uh, at least he doesn't, well, I mean, maybe he's feeling his oats as well, too, but uh, kind of like Dumpling Daddy sometimes when he, uh, but anyway, so, anyway, never you mind well, well, about Ewan McGregor, but uh, Guy Fong, tonight's been a very enlightening night, by the way, Guy Fong, so uh, Guy Fong, you know, and of course, know uh, who Dumpling Daddy has a massive crush on, so, Ewan McGregor, so, anyway, so, 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 now you know my, 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 my illicit, my, 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 my crush on uh, Ewan, uh, Ewan McGregor as Philip Morris, so, uh, but, Anyway. But anyway, so, uh, but uh, Guy Fong, we'll keep the conversation up in the Discord. So, uh, we'll, so again, I will, uh, I will try to check in uh, during work tomorrow uh, or during my breaks tomorrow. Uh, but uh, Twitch Rise, though, Guy Fong, we'll be back again on Thursday night. Guy Fong, we are going to be doing a special meal. Uh, we are, it will be the fourth and final edition of our Chinese Movie Thursdays. Uh, so, it'll be, the it'll be the last of our January theme, uh, which is Chinese movies. Uh, we are making rojiamo, uh, which is a Chinese burger, so uh, or mo better known as Chinese burgers. 
Uh, we're going to be filling it with a stewed meat, uh, and we're going to be making uh, the, the bow, the, the, the buns. Uh, and then in the and the and then in the Discord, we're going to be watching. Uh, afterwards, we're going to be watching Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. So we're going to be watching that uh, in the Discord after we make the Ru Jia Mo. So, uh, which is a very popular snack in in Central and Northern China, uh, which is where the movie Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon is set. So, so, so and Guy Fong, and then the next month uh, we will do well, we maybe do a few. Uh, uh, maybe say we'll do one Thursday theme. Uh, we'll do one th theme Thursday, uh, and then after that we'll uh, and then after that we'll go straight into the. Well, we'll be going straight into Lunar New Year after that as well, too. So, uh, I mean, we're already getting into February, Guy Fong. So, honestly, seriously, that's just absolutely insane here. So, uh, but anyway, Guy Fong, let me just get the raid call in the chat. So, folks, again, uh, cut and copy. Uh, so, again, yes, we've just eaten Sichuan Peschetti, and we're hungry for more. Let's uh, go grab, let's go, uh, let's go, let's go raid Fofo, uh, let's go raid Nasty's Pantry here. Let's go, let's go get some, let's go get, now that we've had some Peschetti, let's go have some chili here. So, uh, so, you know, hey, so, I mean, uh, uh, me too, so, so I know so. Yes, so we ate so, so yes, so Guy Fong, cut and copy the new, cut and copy the new raid call uh, again. Yes, so, we eaten the spaghetti paschetti and now we want more. Get ready for Asia in your in our get ready for Asia in your mouth. So uh, anyway, so Guy Fong, thank you for your company tonight. Uh, again, bit of a short one, but again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your thank you for your company this evening. Uh, you have all been a wonderful audience. Please try the chicken. Uh, I'll be here all week. Well, not all week, but uh, I'll be back on Thursday, uh, and then we'll be back again on Saturday here. So, yeah, uh, for our for our very special cook along. So, folks, if you haven't done so already, uh, exclamation for kimchi. I will post the I will post a link to, to Mang Chi's uh, kimchi recipe uh, into the Discord alongside with the recipe for tonight here. So, anyway, Guy Fong, that's it for me. Uh, go say hi to Nasty, please, please. Uh, Nasty is absolutely wonderful. Another amazing food and drink streamer. Uh, another professional, um, uh, another uh, professional cook. Wonderful, wonderful dude. Uh, super cool vibes. So please, please, please go say hi to them as well too. So I'm going to quickly start the raid. And with that said in mind, exactly. Winsing, thank you very much. Stay safe. Stay, uh, stay loving. Stay humble. Uh, stay humble. Stay loving. And and do yourself, uh, do everyone a good turn for the, uh, for, for the day. And do yourself a good turn as well too. Because hey, you fucking deserve it as well too. Guy Fong, I love you. And uh, recipe for this will be later. Uh, hopefully, video will be available on, on YouTube and, and uh, TikTok on Thursday before we stream. And yes, Thursday we're back. We're making Ru Jia Mo, uh, which is Chinese Chinese stuffed burgers. And we're also watching Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. So uh, anyway, enough of me. But again, that's good. Uh, that's, that's all for me. Take care of yourselves. Have a good night. Let's go start the raid. And raid Mick full. How do you spell again? Full. I was about to two, 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 two. I was about to do, uh, okay, did we get the right one? Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it on the first try. There you go, Guy Fong. We're going to go say hi. Paper, thank you. Thank you for being here. So, and thank you all, Guy Fong. Thank you so much for being here this evening. So, uh, and again, please take care of yourselves. Uh, thank you again. ACAT Square, c c Tax Fraud, Willie Do It, Brad, thank you for the raid. Barden, thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follows and the raids. Again, thank you so much for that. Uh, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. I will see you on Thursday. Uh, and or, of course, I'll see you in the Discord on uh, tomorrow as well, too. But anyway, Guy Fong, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Do yourself a good turn. Seriously, you fucking deserve it. Love you much, Guy Fong. Have a good night, everybody.